All right, welcome back everyone to Towers and Gods episode 17. We're happy to have you as always. Uh, today, as always, I'm joined by our amazing cast. We have Milios as Brack. Hello there. We have Isaiah as Jong. Yo. We have Other Joe as Damien. Or eight ounce blocks of full fat cream cheese. One cup sugar, one cup sour cream, <laughs> one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and two of lemon juice, three eggs. Those are all the ingredients you will need for a cheesecake. I thought it was a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> we have My favorite thing is that he said two of lemon juice. Two of what? <laughs> <laughs> two tablespoons. Or two tea two what two. was it again? Just two. I can't two. make the cake if I don't have Just the ingredients. Two lemon juices, man. <laughs> <laughs> two teaspoons. Two full lemons juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we have Hannah as Eden. I don't know how Hello, to follow that. Hello, I don't know. I was saying, I don't know how to follow that up. I'm just here and happy to see y'all. There you Yay. go. Okay. And we have Sun Wu as Lopobia Wu. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Derailed everything. No, there's no need. There's no need. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're happy to have you. This is our D&D series where we go into the past of Tower of God. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy. Uh, we're just going to be picking up where we left off before. But before we do, uh, if you do like the show, uh, every week we've gotten so close to 300 likes. So uh, definitely leave a like if you are enjoying the series. Uh, you know, uh, just make sure make sure that that button is clicked uh, if, if you are enjoying. And then also... Uh, follow the links down below to all these awesome people and their channels and their uh, social media. And then last thing is the Discord, which is the place where you can talk about Towers and Gods and share all the memes and fan art. Another amazing week for memes, so we'll be sharing those during the break. Um, chat says, other Joe face cam when? Other Joe, oh. do you have a response? He does not. Sorry, everyone. He does, <laughs> <laughs> he does what? <laughs> Wait, no. Make sure that. <laughs> you know what? This is You're this good? is a really this is a really long cheesecake recipe. <laughs> what? I didn't cheesecake. It's really long. I can't. This I man can't asked find. A question. I think he's a little preoccupied. Is what's going on? So we'll, we'll cut that to Joe later on after he's finished his recipe. But. Uh, but yes, so uh, how are you all feeling going into this uh, episode, episode 17? I'm awesome. feeling fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. I just want to kick back and watch the fight unfold. I don't really have to do much this week. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Assuming all goes well, of course. Um, I don't like the way you said that. Well, just... <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch the fight from his prison cell as the battle unfolded. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm ready um, to commit atrocities. Put me in, coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Freaking Joe starts the. Fr Joe joins the Discord and says, "Who's ready to commit some war crimes?" And we're just like, <laughs> "David, you good? Joe, you good?" So I, I, I feel like every time something like that happens, it can be traced back to Damien. But currently, Damien and Victor are just chilling in the Artlum Hotel. So you know, they're kind of enjoying I mean the high life. Let's I mean, I wouldn't nice. call. I wouldn't call it chilling. I'd say it's more, you know, enjoying life as we know it, <laughs> experiencing the good things it's that right. the tower the has bromance. to offer. <laughs> yeah, true. Developing the bromance <laughs> between these two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give a little recap of what happened, and then we will go ahead and start. So, last time you all essentially were given a task by the City Watch. Your task was to assassinate Timian, and you spent most of the session essentially just walking around Artlum, gathering information. You learned some things about Timian from various people, some good, some bad, depending on who you asked. And you ended up finding out that his employee was missing. You found Ernest. Uh, Ernest is affiliated with the thieves, all that stuff. Uh, you know, you found out about the training grounds, having bets, and you decided to put together your own competition between uh, the winner of Leaf and Gasu fighting Victor. And the session ended with the City Watch suddenly approaching Beatrice's, uh, opening the door by force, and walking up the stairs. That is where we ended, and we're going to go ahead and pick up. So before we do, though, I want to uh, sort of...
be on the same page with you all. So could you tell me exactly what you're doing like as these guards are like walking up the stairs? So last I remember, Wu, you were out in the hallway trying mm -hmm. to distract. I locked the door behind Wu and I've got Zhang, Xion, e, uh, bleh, Leaf, I'm yep. Eden, <laughs> um, Brack, yep. Ernest, I got all them in the room with me and and Zhang. So Zhang was at the hotel too. No, yeah. Zhang is with Zhang is in oh, here. No, 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 with yeah, no, I'm yeah, I'm with yeah, uh, Eden. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Last we saw him, he was like you know looking at the hair dye and kind of just oh, you know, being I all forgot. cool yeah. in the room. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. aloof. Yeah. Aloof. That's the <laughs> that's the word. Okay, so the guards came up. Rowan said we need to talk, and now Wu, you're you're face to face with these three guards. So. Uh, at the head is Rowan, but you also see Hoban, the man who actually personally gave you the task. Um, and also uh, Johnson, who is the soldier who attacked Brack uh, the night you came back from your, your mission. So we're going to go ahead and pick up there. So what can I do for you gentlemen? What was your name again, sir? Says Rowan. Wu, you know, simple. Should remember it this time. Thank you, Wu. I apologize. I'm a very busy man. We're here to speak with you and your comrades. Are they around? I mean, it's kind of late. And if you would, if you don't mind, let me know what you want to speak about. Can it wait till the morning? I'm afraid this is rather urgent. Mm. Well... Uh, my boy Jong is in the room changing right now, kind of indisposed. I don't know if you should just go in there yet. Let me, let me let me know you guys are here. We can meet you downstairs. We'll be waiting downstairs then. And he motions to his uh, two guards beside him, and they head down the stairs. But you you see uh, Hoban kind of look behind uh, as they're coming down with a very serious expression on his face. I just wave at him. <laughs> okay, yep. Alright, I'm going back into the room. Actually, it's locked. I'll knock. Okay, Eden and everyone inside the room, you hear the knock. I. Who is it? It's me. Oh, okay. Are the guards there? Nope. Okay. I open the door and pull them in and shut the door and lock it. Sure. sure. Yeah. Uh, I think we got to get the kid out of here. Yeah, I think we definitely need to do that. Uh, there's a window, but I don't know if there are any guards outside. Um, considering they sent both their big wigs, I'm a little concerned. Anybody got any ideas? I mean, they're waiting downstairs. If we go meet them there, there might be a way for him to slip out. Uh, Leaf uh, speaks up. <clears throat> and you notice, uh, uh, Eden, she's still wearing the jacket that you gave her, even though she's inside. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you think they're here? We didn't do anything wrong, did we? I have a feeling this is because we found Ernest and got to him before they did. Why would they want... What would they have to do with Ernest? Shoot! Sorry, everyone. Ah, starting the stream strong. Let's go. Me. Starting the stream strong. Let's go. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. We're fine, though. We're back. <clears throat> totally no interruption. Let's continue. Was well, considering he's oh, tied to Timian, I think they wanted to get to him, considering they threw the only two members left of the bandits in prison already, according to Ernest. And I look over at him. So I think they want him, too. And so, I think he followed me and Shion all the way here. To sort of reiterate, Ernest is under the bed right now, correct? Yeah. Is he still yes. there? All right. <laughs> Shion says, yeah, well, we did hear some footsteps, but I didn't think we were being followed. I didn't think so either, considering the crowds and everything. <sighs> she, uh, yeah, I was gonna, she turns towards Brack as you're saying that. Go ahead. Okay. Right, you can you can teleport, right? Yes, but I used up my one usage earlier when uh I was sparring oh. with Wu. 
Okay. Um, but what we can do is, I think two of us should go see what the guards want, while the rest try to figure out a way to get Timmy and out of here. Well, okay. So if we're on the second story, Brack, you're eight foot tall, right? You're really tall. If you can get out the window, you can help everyone out, and then maybe get Ernest over to your honeys and hide out there for a little bit. Leaf, you could get to Ardlam Hotel and meet up with uh, Damien and Victor and let them know what's going on. And then maybe Wu okay. Zhang and I can go um, meet with the guards. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And then Shion, Shion, Brack, you notice is just looking at you kind of out of the corner of her eye. Brack, you didn't do anything, did you? Well, why that... did I have to? Why, why did I have to do anything? Like, why are you blaming me? I that... just uh, don't. I, you know, I'm just thinking back to all the times we've been in trouble, and you know, it always links back to you. I yeah. never start the trouble; they start the trouble. I just so happen to guys, en- guys. engage. We can assign blame later. Right now, the most important thing is getting <clears throat> this kid out of our sight and out of the guard sight. Okay, so I, I think the. The main thing is get to your honeys, lay low for a little bit until the guard presence goes down for the night. Then get him to Timian's. If Timian's was actually, and I hate to say this, if he was actually into the whole human trade thing that the guards mentioned, he might know a way how to get Ernest out of the city without any trouble and get him to a safer place because I think the guards really want him. Ernest, is that fairly accurate? There's just silence under the bed for a while. And then he, he says, I, and then I need everyone to roll perception for me in the room. Shoot. Mm-hmm. Which by the way, I know uh, Hannah has some new dice, some neat new oh, dice. I do. So that's right. exciting. Let's get some oh, good luck out of that. The new dice, love me. Okay. Natural 20. <laughs> Right out no of the game. Way. First yeah. roll of the dice. Dang. Uh, 16. Got a 15. Oh. Okay. Uh, got a 19. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you all hear this, but Eden, you're the first. To, as you're asking that question to Ernest, you hear the footsteps of someone coming up the stairs. And then he cuts off because then it starts to get louder and louder and suddenly there's a knock on the door and you can tell now normally you would just have thought there was one person but eden you were able to perceive that actually two people came up the stairs even though there's just one single knock on the door and you hear a deep voice we don't have all day hurry up we'll be right down one more Uh, minute okay Oh, just give us one more second. We'll be down in just a second. And I look to the squad that I told to go to your honeys and then to Timian's and then Leaf. You guys got to go now. We'll go distract them. Go, 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 go. So, so where, where is everyone heading again? Leaf, you're going to the Arlem Hotel meet up okay. with Damien and Victor. You're supposed to be with Victor anyway because you're his apprentice. It'll make sense. Ask for, ask for them true. at the front desk and go go with them and stay with them tonight. Uh, Brack, Shion. Leaf and er, er, Braxion and Ernest, get to your honeys, lay low there for a little bit, avoid the guard, be as stealthy as possible. Once everything is calmed down, get Ernest to Timian's, and then, I'm saying this quietly too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then help get Ernest out of the city. If you have to tell Timian that what's going on, tell him. We need his help because I don't trust the guards at this point. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Zhang, Zhang, if you want to go with him, you can. Wu and I can go distract for a little bit. It, it's totally up to you, but we need to get going. Like, now, 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 now. Okay, let's go. Come on. And you do have a window in the room. Um, yes. And uh, it's, you are a bit, because you went up, you know, you're on the second floor. So it's fairly high up, but, you know, heights that you could, you can jump and probably be okay. So as you peer out, you know, Leaf peers out the window and she, she opens it. All right, let's go. Come on. And she starts climbing out. I, uh, I go over to the bed. I lift it up, pick up uh, Ernest under my arm. All right. <laughs> walk over to the window. Look over at Eden. Like, if you see the guard that beat me, well, never mind. You don't even know what he looks like. And then what? I just jump out the window. 
Okay, sure, <laughs> sure. You jump out, okay. Um, and Shion turns around, you sure you don't need me? Looking at you, Eden. We're good. I need you to take care of Ernest. They really want him. And I trust you and Brack to keep him safe. All right. And she looks at the three of you and says, good luck. And then she also jumps out the window. Okay. I guess I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> this time it's like pounding on the door. Open up! All right, guys. We need a story. So, Eden, <laughs> Eden pulls off her shirt, pulls or pulls apart uh, Zhang's like, tunic, and messes her hair up and goes over to the door. <sighs> what do you want? I said we were gonna be a minute. You didn't even give the boys a chance. So you're opening the door? Yes, just okay. po poking my head out. You open the door and you see Hoban and another guard standing there. And he's gonna try to open the door more forcefully now that you've opened it. Okay. Do you want uh, to, yeah? I'm gonna hold it closed. <laughs> okay, roll. If I can. So give me a strength roll then. All right. Flat strength roll. Woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> oh no, I hate you already. <laughs> I was gonna say I rolled really well. Uh, so I got a 22. So, okay. You feel, you were prepared for this. You, this. this was something you expected. So you're like ready to hold it tight, but you are very surprised at the just sheer strength behind Hoban's, uh, behind Hoban's push, because he pushes open the door and you just like completely can't even hold it back. And he slams it open. That was a nat <sighs> 20. Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't waste your rolls, no! <laughs> Save that for he... yourself, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying uh, Hoban got a, a nat 20. Oh, Hoban got a nat 20. Right. I, I figured that look on your face, I was like, mm. Uh, so the two guards walk into the room. Jong and Wu, what are you doing right now? Uh, Jong is just surprised because the top part of his shirt was pulled down. <laughs> <laughs> and he's standing in awe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of looking at them, like, shaking my head. Okay, okay. Well, Hoban looks very serious, and he's looking around, and he nods over to the other soldier. And the guard walks over and starts looking under the beds, sort of examining the sheets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what are you, what are you, you just barge into people's rooms and start ransacking? You were doing something private. He kind of gives a little quizzical look at that, but kind of just gets back to a serious look. And I, I, I trace a finger over his, I, I'm guessing he's wearing a chest plate or something, some yeah. sort of guard armor. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to join us that bad? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> seduce, seduce, seduce. <laughs> I mean, considering considering you wouldn't answer our questions last time, I mean, I answer questions you could have just asked. We're here under orders from Rowan. And of course. Almost like, at, so as he says that, Rowan walks into the room as well. He has his hands behind his back, and even though he's shorter than these other two guards, you could just tell he has this air of authority. And he takes one slow step and another, and he kind of looks at you, and, uh, and Hoban just kind of, for a second, pauses. I hope we didn't uh, interrupt anything too private. Oh, you totally did, but, you know, Hoban here, I guess, wanted to join us, so he just broke the door down. That's not true, and Rowan just kind of holds up a hand. Look at how flushed his little cheeks are. He's we're, precious. We're here on very serious business, Eden. Of course you are. So serious that you couldn't answer any of our questions, so... Oh, being the assassin of the group, I had to go out and do my own reconnaissance. We... heard a little rumor, more than a rumor, mm. that a certain gray-skinned, blue-armored man was promoting a fight. Some kind of gambling match at the training grounds that will take place tomorrow. And I could have sworn that this man was almost identical sounding to one in your group. And I couldn't, and he's pacing, and I couldn't help but wonder. You're not, and he looks very serious at all three of you. You're not breaking our deal, are you? <laughs> is that what you're worried about? And Eden sits on one of the beds that got put back down, just crosses her legs. 
That's what you're worried about? We can't just make a little cash before we leave? Even with our deal? We've got to have a little spending cash for the next floor. Who knows how much that test might cost? This is the most expensive test we ever caught. And we have eight people. Where you are do you realize... Okay. You do realize I like to gamble, right? And we also agreed that we would meet you when the job was done tomorrow evening, right? And this so... just makes you look more suspicious. So What's the problem? Could all three of you, just because, you know, you're you're all kind of in this together, roll deception? Oh, no. Oh, deception. And it's going to okay, kind of count okay. as a group roll. The new dice. They Let's go! The new go! Dice. Okay. Okay. That's a okay. nat 20. That's a nat 20? Shoot. Right. Wait, 15 18, for 20, me. And 50. Okay, okay. He's kind of just looking around the room. And when you mention that, he's that he's kind of making himself look like a fool. You can tell he kind of, he kind of pauses at that. He trades a glance with the third soldier, and then he turns back to you, Eden. You mentioned having a group of eight. Where would your friends happen to be? I have no idea. I'm not their keeper. I'm just their leader. What they do at night is their own business, and what I do at night is mine. Sure, and you're kind of sure. ruining that right now. It's the middle of the evening, but whatever you say. I like to get started early. Hmm. That's how I blow off steam before I go and assassinate someone. I could have sworn earlier you said you weren't an assassin. I said I was the assassin of the group. I must be misremembering. <laughs> Look, Rowan, and I kind of put my, my arm around him. Just do me a favor. Bet on the boy Victor tomorrow. Make yourself some money. And we'll see you after the fight when the job is done. Especially since you want to help the town, all proceeds could go to the people of the town. Who's hosting this fight? I don't know, some strange promoter, I think, from the 20... 22nd floor, something like that. It wouldn't happen to be you. Your group. Me? Um, do I look like I'm from the 22nd floor? I have no idea what people look like from the 22nd floor. <laughs> My point is, if we find out that your group is hosting a tournament that is rigged, why, all of your points could get revoked. What makes you assume that it would be rigged? That is awfully curious. That makes no sense. Well, I know that one of the participants is your very own Kuhn Victor, and I happen to hear that your friend is promoting the fight, and you all are encouraging about the fight. Wait, wait, so you're telling- there's no rule against us no, 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 no. promoting this fight or hosting this fight, is there? If so what is the problem? As long as the participants are not both from your group, they wouldn't Have be. you seen the fight card? I have not, actually. Do you happen to have one? Uh, yeah, right here. So could you tell me what's on the card? I know, Brack, you, you were kind of in charge of this whole thing, right? Yes, I was. Uh, what's on the card is basically just promotional lettering okay. featuring uh, Kuhn Victor on the front cover, yep. blue hair, looking kind of nice. He got his spear in a nice little stance, posturing forward, one right. foot, uh, the right foot forward, the left foot back a little bit, and a nice <laughs> little stance looking like Keelik. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much just what there. Nobody else is on a uh, on a poster. Okay, okay. Of him. got you. <laughs> hmm. So he's examining the card, and he kind of goes, hmm, "Nice craftsmanship." Who is his opponent? Wait, wait, wait! Above the table, what did you refer to to um, Gasu oh. as? Bro? Yellow flash. I yeah, think. yellow flash. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a. Uh... A newcomer that we, you know, heard whispers about on the, the earlier floors. He goes by the moniker, the Yellow Flash. Quite fearsome. Killed a few. It'd be an interesting fight. That's the opponent. Interesting. I don't recall seeing a regular like that here. But perhaps there are many regulars here. Anyway, I'm sorry to have disturbed you all. I hope you all enjoy the match tomorrow. Absolutely. And what better of a cover to go kill Timmy and while fight's happening? 
When he says that, he says, I'm sorry. I haven't heard anything about that. And he <laughs> turns and uh, leaves the room, the third soldier following him. And then Hoban stops and turns around and just glares at all of you. I and just give him, I give him a cheeky grin and a wink. All you right. can come back whenever. He just kind of exhales and grunts and then uh, stomps out of the room and they he shuts the door really uh, harshly. And then, you know, you hear them going down the stairs and then you just hear the old lady just shouting. You can't understand what she's just saying, but, you know, something going on down there. <clears throat> oh, <sighs> what the hell was that? Oh, it was a distraction technique and it worked on the one that I didn't expect it to work on. But, hey, we bought us some time and hopefully enough time for the others to have gotten away. Uh, eating. Mm, Next yes. time, let's go for a more straightforward distraction because I don't know what I would be doing here with all that going on. I kicked you out because you were too drunk, but it's fine. Um, and you can see as she stands up, she's got like a lot of scars, more than you would think, on her abdomen and some on her back. And puts her shirt back on. Okay, well, let's just wait till we hear from the others. And, uh, yeah, sorry about that. That just. That yeah, that happened. But anyway, sorry, John. If I made John for <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not no, not at all. And he quickly goes. He just realizes that his shirt has still been down this whole time, and goes to pull <laughs> his shirt back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It works for shock and awe, but you know that's about it. Anyway, okay. Uh, I guess now we got to play the waiting game. Okay. And with that, we're going to cut to Brack, Shion, Ernest, and Leaf. As you jumped out the window, landed down on the sand, the sandy road, kind of the, you know, it, it's behind the building and the building kind of ends this whole alleyway. So there's not a ton of room back there, but you managed to land. And uh, now I'm gonna need you to try to roll, um, roll stealth for me. Do, 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 do. Let me just make I got sure. Three NPCs I'm, nope. here. Let's do this. Make Come sure on, guys. Nova stealth modifier is plus three. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta roll twice because uh, disadvantage with the armor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you for remembering oh, that. Why did he Two have twenties? Let's go. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, I rolled in that twenty, the first one. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh shoot. What is, oh, I'll take a 19, I'll take a 19, I'll take a 19. <laughs> yes, sir! 22. Oh, hey, oh, hey. shoot! Well, the not 20 will be higher, but 22. Delthiest armor <laughs> in the tower, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> he's learning! All right. So, uh, Brack, you, you, you're grabbing Ernest and you're taking this all very seriously. So when you jump down, you just, you land and you, you kind of, you know, are making sure your armor doesn't make a lot of noise. Um, Leaf, you noticed when she came out, uh, jumped out the window, she kind of went, ah! she made a little uh, a yelp as she landed. Um, but other than that, you all are being pretty stealthy, kind of sneaking around the building. Shion looks ahead and she motions for you to like follow her as she then kind of just like walks quickly past Beatrice's, past, you know, the, the balcony, the front, uh, you know, where, where uh, Beatrice is with the rocking chair, the front uh, door. Yeah. Out into the main road. I, I say to Leaf, as soon as we get out to the main road, uh, climb up on my shoulder so that we can get there a little bit faster. Oh, okay. And yeah, yep, you, she climbs on top. So we got Shion in the front, Brack carrying Ernest, and uh, Leaf uh, on Brack's shoulders. Okay. You, so, me, yeah. I was going to say, I, 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 I kind of like try to like loud whisper forward to Shion. Shion, did you hear that noise? What noise? That was like a loud thump. A thump? Yeah. Hey, never mind. Don't don't worry about it. I don't. As we. Okay. As we try to run away. Yeah. Sure, sure. You're able to make it into the main road, uh, and you know you notice that there wasn't any, there weren't any other soldiers that you saw, so you're able to kind of go back and mingle back into the crowd. Mm -hmm. Um, it, the day is going by at this point. I'm gonna say it's like going on evening um you know it's probably about five or six and leaf says okay i need to make my way to the artlum hotel it's just straight ahead you're going to your honey right and you notice your honey is like right there right on your left yeah so i i let leaf 
I let Leaf down. Okay. And I say, do you need, do you need an escort towards there? No, I'll be okay. Uh, you all just take care of Ernest. All right. Be safe, young Leaf. And then I run into your honey. Okay. Shion kind of stops for a second, but then uh, follows you inside as well. She's, and you, you hear her say something to Leaf before Leaf, with her jacket over her head, the hood up, dashes, uh, you know, silently uh, walks fast through the crowd. Mm. Okay. So, this is your first time in this fine establishment. So, when you walk in, Beautiful you see... <laughs> <laughs> you see everything that um, that Wu had seen before. On the left is where everything kind of turns into the, the gambling side of things, the bar. On the right, you see a bunch of men and women looking at you all as you walk in, uh, giggling and all that. You uh, notice Shion looks rather uncomfortable, but you're still holding Ernest. So what do you, what do you choose to do, Brack? I still have Ernest in my arm. I take a look around the establishment. <laughs> And I go, ah, degeneracy. Haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> As I start to take a few steps forward, <laughs> I, I walk up to the uh, uh, counter and I ask them, may I ask if you, if you guys have any type of water here. Uh oh. Sorry, oh, I'm trying I'm... to fix my mic. Oh. Did it break? Well, people are saying there's a there's a noise, and I think it's coming from my end. Uh -oh. I'll try mm -hmm. to figure that out. Hopefully it's not too bad. It seems pretty bad though. Okay. I'll figure it out. Sorry about that, chat. Um sorry, Brad, could you repeat that? I walk up to the uh, the first count I see, and I ask them if they have any water here. Oh, so are you going to the right, like into the brothel side, or into the the bar side? No, 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 the bar side. So I catch a black slip. Okay, okay. As you're walking through the tables and such, you notice everyone's kind of looking at you strangely, and the bartender kind of stops. Water. And you notice he's looking at Ernest and up at you. Don't mind him. He's just an accessory. Water, please. <laughs> he turns around. You see him fiddling with the, you know, with everything. And then Shion says, how are we going to get him to Timian? Why are we even here in the first place? We're, we're supposed to be here to wait it out. Like, I take it. I, I, I take it. We, we stay here about an hour and then we just bolt completely over to Timian's. Okay. We're waiting out the guards. You know, yeah. it might not even be just those the ones that showed up. It could be more. We gotta try to well, if, all the guards. If there are more, I'll create a distraction. You take Timian. Uh, you take Ernest and run to Timian's. The guards already hate guard, The guards already hate me. They attacked me once. Twice already, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be the perfect distraction. I'll lay down. I'll start hooping and hollering. Rah, 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 and then you just take Ernest. Calm, calm, and then you're down. <laughs> you got, you know, the, the people there have definitely, they think you're you're a little uh, interesting. The the bartender <laughs> hands you a glass. And he, he also puts one down for Ernest and Shion. Um, and he says, it'll be three points. For water? Three points for water? That's right. This glass isn't big enough for three points. <laughs> There's three glasses there, son. Oh, I thought you meant each. Okay, never mind. Just take this. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You pay the three points. And you can tell Ernest, he's, you, his hands are shaking as he's uh, drinking from the glass. And you notice the bartender, he, he just keeps squinting at, at, uh, at this kid. Bartender, I, I noticed that you're looking at my luggage here. Uh, please pay him no mind. He is absolutely harmless. He's going to drink his water. We're going to leave your establishment within an hour. Matter of fact, do you have any food? Okay. Or is this just a... We can find... Well, we don't normally serve 
ordinary food, but we do have a relationship with the nearby store. We can direct you there if you'd like. That won't do. If you don't have any food, that is absolutely fine. I don't like the way you're looking at us either, so I'm just going to take my water. And go how do you, hey, 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 before you go, he's trying to stop you. How do you know this kid? Know what kid? Your luggage. As you just said, that's luggage. That's not a kid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He, uh, he's uh, very perplexed by what you're saying. He's having a hard time sort of uh, relaying this to you. And Shion says, I'm sorry, sir, but we really, really do need to be going. We, we will talk to you later. And she also starts to leave. And the bartender tries to say something, but is just completely dumbfounded. And as you're leaving, you notice all the people in the bar, like, stop what they're doing and just watch you as you exit the establishment. We're going to cut to Damien. Damien Frog. You are currently in the hotel room with Victor. Mm. You're sipping Snuggled on the, the drink and all that, right? Snuggled under a nice, nice warm blanket with some hot chocolate. <laughs> Hot chocolate? Mm. Okay, okay. You can make that. Make that In happen. a desert. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the entire jacuzzi is just Trace Velger's. He, it, that is his home now. Right, okay. Uh, right now, Victor is in the bath, and you just, just like steam, like filling the bath. With Trace Velger! Trace <laughs> <laughs> Velger, wait! <laughs> Uh, yes, he's taking a bath, um, and you're just chilling there by yourself. I want to hear you say the words. He's taking a bath with her. <laughs> 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 he's taking a bath, and Harry Spelger is also there. So, uh, you know, they're, little, they're having a good time. It's a little weird, but okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, no. uh, life sure is great. I have no idea what's going on on the other side. And by other side, I mean the disparity between the rich and the poor. <laughs> Damien Dylan Arquin. <laughs> so I, uh, I hadn't mentioned this uh, when I was uh, describing the room earlier, but you do notice there's also a nice uh, like TV, like a flat screen kind of almost like a thin sort of, uh, you know, monitor at the uh, end of the room. And you do have a remote nearby. So I'm just uh, letting you know that. There's a big window at the end of your room, which opens up to a beautiful view. And uh, you've got various magazines and such also in the room. Mm, do I want to enjoy the big window again or the big TV? I can't decide. <laughs> I think I'll choose the window today. All right. Cool. This moment in time. Do I discern anything out there? So as you approach the window, you suddenly get a text from Leaf. And it says, which room are you in? Victor, which room are we in again? <laughs> uh, what? We're, we're in 201. Come on. Two oh, th hang on. The autocorrect is kind of two oh one. Two oh one. Yes. Wait. Who's asking? Um, the police. <laughs> what? He suddenly, uh, he, he like the bathroom. He, you just hear him shuffling in the in the bathroom. I'm kidding. You're apprentice. You're apprentice. Okay. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say you're standing there, you're enjoying the view, you know. Um, now, half of the view is beautiful. You get to see the rolling deserts, you know, of, of this sixth floor, and you see beautiful mountains in the distance. But you also can tell, like, if you, if you turn your gaze down, um, you, you see the, the side of town where the buildings have gotten much more run down, uh, windows are broken, and you can glimpse a few individuals crouched with cloaks over their head, and you see a couple like talk, trying to talk to people who are passing by. Well, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You fellows over there, stop skulking about. I'm trying to enjoy my evening view. <laughs> and suddenly you hear a pound, like a pounding on the door. Oh, I'll get it. Please, let me in. Is this, is What's this, is this you, Damien? And you hear Leaf's voice. Oh, yes, yes it is. I'll open the door for you after I finish my hot chocolate. No, please hurry. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm done. Go ahead. And as you open the door, you see Leaf and she's starting to walk in, but then behind her is a maid who says, uh, excuse me, young lady. I'm so sorry about this. Um, you, you're not allowed in here. No, um, oh, th uh, this street rat is under my employ. She'll be, she'll be off in a moment. Don't worry. Why? <laughs> Why is he going so crazy? <laughs> the power has gotten to his head. <laughs> Come on in, child. Oh my god. Oh man. Woo. Okay, so. Uh, you know, can, at, at you that... stop, can you guys stop laughing? I'm serious. <laughs> You're entertaining, Joe. You took us back to Oliver and Company with that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Leave right, us. Right. Ah, but bring some moisturizer. My hands are getting rather dry. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. And you can tell she's still unsure, but decides to leave. You shut the door, and Leaf, you can tell, is huffing and puffing. Thanks, hey, what's Damien. going on? Yeah, no problem. So what's going on? Why were you talking <laughs> like that? What? Oh, it's it's called acting. I'm playing a role, you see. A role? Oh, okay. Yes. You, you seem really good at that role. Um, well, we have some bad news. And at this, Victor leaves, you know, he, he's, uh, you, you see him walking out of the bathroom, steam coming out of the door, and he's all, uh, you know... All uh, clean looking. Oh, Leaf, hey. Um, there's some bad news. The, the City Watch showed up at Beatrice's, and, and then Victor says, What? W why? Well, uh, I, I don't know. Eden told us we had to uh, head out, and Ernest and uh, the rest of the group had to head to your honeys, and then Victor said, er Ernest? They found Ernest? Oh, what's going on? Uh, and you can tell he's looking back and forth at the door, and you, Damien. Damien, should I, do you think I should go? You've got things handled here, right? Believe that we are not going to do anything, unfortunately. Are you kidding? We, have, yes. to keep up, we um, have to keep up the ruse until tomorrow. Anything we do, we have to help them indirectly. All right, fine. Leaf, can, can you tell us any more? And Leaf tells you all that she can. She did leave fairly quickly, but she tries to convey not only, um, you know, what happened with the City Watch, but just kind of a, a brief summary of Ernest and everything that had kind of uh, been discussed in that room beforehand. Is so, the boy safe now? I, I don't know. They they entered your honeys, and they're going to try to get him to Timian, I think. And Timian is going to help him get out of the city. I guess so quite the predicament yeah the best thing we can do is to make sure the plan tomorrow goes as planned right and if any of them get into jail we'll use our newfound influence to get them out you think they're gonna <laughs> go to jail <laughs> Simply devilish, Damien, yes. <laughs> hmm? Oh, well, I, I don't... If if the worst case comes to bear, then they may go to jail, but... That would be it's awful. Nothing. Why are you... We gotta help... Whatever. I hate they're not, nothing. They're not going to jail. It's just a hypothetical. Sorry right. to... Sorry to worry you. Oh, no, you're fine. In the mean... But in the meantime, we should work on your persona tomorrow. <sighs> my persona. Okay. You're what, going what to have to be more confident. You're going to be have to be more confident than that. You are the apprentice to the great Kuhn Victor, who I have 
who we have built up in this establishment as a pretty big deal. Victor kind of winks when you, when you say that. Yeah, I'm kind of the villain here. Damien painted me as the uh, devilishly handsome villain. So that's what we're going with. Okay, so what am I then? Am I the hero? <laughs> Not exactly. Why are you laughing you, like that? <laughs> you are the apprentice to the villain. You would be the first boss in this case. I'm a villain? I'm a villain? And you can tell she's like completely <laughs> has no idea what to how to handle that. Mm, yeah, I don't want to be the villain. I don't know how to be bad. Um, sounds kind of fun. Well, uh, do you know, tell me what do you know I have to do. Well, simple. First things first, I was thinking we could give you a different name. Leaf doesn't exactly... I don't, I don't feel the intimidation. Okay. What do you think, Victor? Do you think Leaf is a hmm. intimidating name? No, I don't think so. It's too innocent. I We want them to take her seriously. First things first, and he walks over and uh, he starts taking the flowers out of her hair. Hey, hey, no, come on. We got to get you looking the part as well. Damien, I don't know. You're better with this sort of thing. And he kind of motions to you as he's uh, taking the flowers out of her hair. She's still wearing Eden's hoodie, so she is in black. Right, she yes. has the hoodie, yep. We should absolutely rough you, uh, not, uh, may, you need to be rougher around the edges. Try punching something multiple times before the night is over. Um, <laughs> okay, sure. I want your knuckles to be bruised and, and <laughs> you're so angry. Right, <laughs> angry, okay. And your, and your name. Henceforth, you will be known as Darth Vader. We knew it. We knew it. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. But yes. <laughs> what what do you think, Vic? Did you actually <laughs> no, say that? Or? No, it's it, we can't we can't call her Darth Vader because it would be too obvious of a reference. <laughs> <laughs> what break the fourth? All the fourth <sighs> walls are gone. They're all gone. Everyone. Hey man, G Kundo exists within the tower, so Star Wars can exist too. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> I have the perfect idea. You will be Sephiroth. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> we can't what have do any you references think, here. No, 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 no. Let's see Sephiroth. Oh man. Uh, Sephiroth. Why? <laughs> As your apprentice. The name clearly inspires fear. Intimidation. <laughs> maybe what? we should get a... Maybe we should get even a mask. Oh, I can handle that. I'm sure I could uh, go out in disguise and get a mask. Oh, this is excellent. Get you a big cape as well. <laughs> Temporarily, of course, because I would yeah. want the cape afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking if I want to sound evil, what if my name is Death? And she tries to say it like with emphasis. Even better, X Death. X Death. <laughs> <laughs> we get away from this. I can't. I have to keep myself muted because I'm dying. <laughs> Oh I think God. Victor says, I think death works, but it might be a little too on the nose. Hmm. We'll think of something, but I don't really like the names you came up with, Damien. <laughs> well, <laughs> good, because I take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know that <laughs> they may be used in some other media. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to say... The, the people in the hotel, you spent the evening uh, doing your best to, uh, you know, get Re Leaf ready for the next day, uh, thinking of a name. Victor went out to go get a mask, and uh, you're, you're preparing all that. If you have any other ideas, Joe, you can always type, me, type it to me in the chat. But, uh, okay. Now, the evening is going by, so Eden, Jong, and Wu. We're going to cut to you. Is there anything you want to do... While the day, while the night is still here. 
They're gonna have like a bit of time before the fight in the next day, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm good for now, bro. As a matter of fact, it's around the time where I should be getting naked and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the first time you've, you've said that, so you know what? Works, okay, okay. <laughs> Eden and Jong? Um, did Xion bring that coat? That... No, no okay. Yeah, she didn't. In fact, right, I'm... as the day goes by, you get a text of her saying, I'm sorry I missed this. Alright, then I'm, Zhong's probably gonna go out and see if he can't uh, pick up something, like some kind of clothing material to wear like from a shop okay. or something sure you i'm gonna say you go out um and there are clothing shops you do you do find some material um and uh you, you find one shop that's kind of near the weapon shops if you kind of kept walking they have a bunch of different textiles and all kinds of things and uh while you're there you uh you hear a voice saying hey and you see the older man who was sitting in that first uh, restaurant you came upon restaurant the rundown one and uh he's standing there and kind of looking at the materials as well looking for a new outfit i'm sorry have we met before <laughs> once you get old your face becomes more unrecognizable but yeah i think you were asking about timian yesterday oh yeah i was Anyway, yeah, I'm uh, just looking for a new coat. Something for a friend. I see. You hear about that fight they're promoting for tomorrow? Yeah, I did. Sounds, uh, sounds like something. Sure does. You find a bunch of different materials there, so I'm going to say whatever you are thinking of, you know, if you want a certain kind of coat or a jacket or whatever. Um, they have a lot of options. Okay. I think I'll go with this one. And he just grabs, like, a coat off the rack. Do I have uh, to... All right. That'll be uh, 200 points, please. <sighs> Damn, it's just sucking points out of people. All right, fine. There you are. And uh, you notice that the gentleman also buys something. When's your test? Do you know yet? Uh, not yet, actually. I probably won't be on this floor much longer, though. Well, as I hear it, apparently you can make some points by gambling in tomorrow's match. So, maybe put down some points. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I were you... I'd probably stay away from that fight tomorrow. He kind of gives you a look. Anyway, take care of yourself. And he grabs the coat and walks away. Okay. Uh, Eden, do you have any plans? Well, Eden's getting a little antsy because she hasn't heard from anybody yet. Um, she's going to send a message to Brack and company and just ask if they had made it to Timian's yet. Okay. Um, and if so, what's the status? And then right. um, she's also going to slip out and go and look for... Um, uh, some different outfits specifically for her and Shion. Because mm -hmm. the guards were the ones that saw us specifically. And so she's just okay. kind of getting looking for some quick fixes to... Okay. Take some aggro off. <laughs> sure, sure. And I'm going to say that you did receive a text from Victor asking um, basically just if you were okay and just a general, like, you know, kind of just telling you that Leaf did make it to the hotel. Um, okay. Yeah, he did sort of keep you informed on that front. Yeah. Um, and I and, responded in kind. Okay, sure, sure. Now, so worry. on that note then, asking about Brack and stuff, once you did leave the establishment, Brack, did you end up heading to Timian's? Yeah, we had <clears throat> so Sean, uh, Ernest, and I yep. wound up going to uh, Timian's. And as we're on our way there, I, I leaned over to Sean as we're walking. Hey, yeah. do I?
Do I stand out? <sighs> she just kind of sighs. Yeah, Brack, you do. You're pretty tall and loud. And, uh... You kind of get into... I'm not loud! <laughs> <laughs> she kind of, like, plugs your... Holds her ears. <clears throat> yeah, you are. And there's nothing wrong with that, per se. But we just gotta watch out, you know? And be careful, because... The nature of the tower is... Everyone's out to get you, you know? Yeah, you don't gotta tell me that. Let, we should head towards Timian. Hold up. I think... I think... I think... I think Leader's calling me. Oh. Hey, Leader! Brack, what's, this, what's the situation? I haven't heard from you all in a while. Well, we, uh... We went to, to your honey... As okay. as you suggested, uh -huh. uh, when we you got there, cards? yeah, 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 yeah. And You're when, not when we any unwanted attention, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but 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 I didn't attract the attention. The attention somehow found its way to me. I was minding my business. <laughs> I, I asked the barkey for <laughs> a glass of water, and then he started asking me question about luggage. And then I was like, what are you talking luggage. about? That's not kid, that's luggage. And then we ended up in this particular situation that we are in now. Now we're on our way to Timian's and I'll update you on it when we get there. Is, <laughs> is luggage who I think you're referring to? Don't say his name. Luggage is luggage. We're gonna leave it at that. Okay, I knew I should have sent Zhang. Anyway, um... All right, so please be stealthy in your movements to Timian's, and I will try and meet you there soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Brack tries to hit a button on the pocket to oh, turn it she off. Don't, she don't help you. She, she finds the button. <laughs> okay, so... You end up making your way to Timmy's, but before you do, Ernest says, wait, what if, and you can tell he's really nervous, what if he, he gets mad at me or something? He won't get mad at you. Not after what we, what we would tell him just so that we can keep him in check. Just know that this place, this place is garbage, kid. Garbage? Timian's a decent guy, okay. No, no, no. Timian's a decent guy. But not the guys that are trying to kill you. <laughs> and when you say that, his eyes grow wide. He, he's like finally realizing the, the serious situation <laughs> that's happening here. All right, you, you enter his establishment and uh, he's got the lights on. No one else is in the shop. It's empty. And uh, he has his back turned to you. He's like cleaning off the shelves and then he turns. Well, what can I... And he pauses seeing you with Ernest. Ernest! You found him, Ernest! Are you? And he walks around the counter towards you all. Uh, w could you please tell me what happened, uh, sir? First of all, Timian, I'm gonna need you to shh. His name isn't Ernest. It's luggage right now. You never know who could be listening. Second off, we found him, yes, but we have more pressing concerns here, Timian. Um, how well do you trust the regime that makes up this particular city. The regime? Well, I believe that Artlem's lawmakers and the, the politicians of Artlem are upstanding individuals. I believe Artlem is the finest it's ever been in the hundreds of years it's existed. I'm glad you think that, Timian. Now, <laughs> how would you feel if they wanted to <clears throat> remove you from the city. <laughs> he laughs with his hand on his belly. <laughs> remove me? I don't believe that is possible. You see, I am on the council. In fact, I am the greatest benefactor of Artlum. And I am currently in the process of implementing a new system in the city. So, that is not an option. Can yeah, I yeah. make a stealth check to try and sneak in the back door? You're out shopping for clothes right now, right? Are you? Well, that was. I'm, I was thinking that was happening while this was happening. 
Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Maybe maybe uh, in a bit, though, I'll, okay. when we uh, kind of cut back. <clears throat> so, Brack, Brack, did you say something? Oh, well, okay. I understand that you are on the council. That that That's all fine and dandy. You, you do know that most high-up officials, normally there are citizens who would like to, you know, get them out the way. Catch my drift? Of course, you mean assassinate. Yes, that is the term. Assassination, the it's word of the day. It kind of pauses at that one. Uh, right, of course. Uh, anyway, I was wondering if, uh, Ernest, you're more than welcome back, but what what happened? Why, why were you, um, why weren't you here? And he's the just guards are silent. Oh. oh. Well, as Ernest is not trying to, uh, is, is, is yes. silent, probably looking down at the ground, yep. I point over to Ernest. I say, well, remember that word we just mentioned? Assassination? Yeah, the guards are trying to get him. Which means they might be coming after you too, guy. He just looks at you. Roll persuasion, Barack. <laughs> My least step. <laughs> I like the confidence, though. Yeah. You got this. You got this. The heart of the dice. Never fail. Never fail. Big ball, bro. 15. Yeah. The guards are trying to assassinate Ernest and myself. Is that what you are implying? Yes. The city watch? Hmm. You know, I actually believe you. I believe that that is most likely a possibility. However, I'm not worried. And he just smiles. Now, Ernest, on the other hand, I don't know why they'd be going after him, but my safety is more than secure, I assure you. What if I tell you that your assassin is standing right in front of you? Roll. You see. Yep. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You want to say more? Yeah. You see, because of a situation that happened with us earlier, I wanted to kill you. But my friends, they stopped me. So, You're saying so we, you are my assassin. I was. I'm not anymore. But we would like to enlist you to join our cause. Now, for right now, Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. One more thing. One more thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, and if you pay me the sum of 100,000 points, I will happily look the other way and not leave you in the pool of your own blood right here with your buddy, Ernest, here. Roll perception. Perception? Yes. 15. You, it takes you a second. And at first, you don't, you don't notice anything. But suddenly, Shion says, Brack, step back! And she grabs you and pulls you back, you and Ernest. And suddenly, pew, these arrows fly in front of you, narrowly missing you, like flying right in front of you and hitting the ground. And Timian says, I believe you should leave my shop, Mr. Bronson. I believe your name was. If you honestly think that a few arrows can stop me, you evidently don't know who you're messing with. Frack, <laughs> she, she own it. You just see her <laughs> completely tense up. And then suddenly the door is shut. They just sl they slam shut all the uh, entrances and exits. And you see from the Four corners of the room, four almost shadows just jump down from the ceiling. And they land in the different corners and they dash behind objects. And you, it's hard to tell what they even were. They were moving so fast. Brack, I don't know about this one. I think we should go. They would have to reach me before I reach him. And he's right there within arm's length. If you take one step forward, I'm breaking his neck. So now, 
are you gonna are you gonna like move to Timmy or you're, you're no, I'm just gonna stand exactly where I am because, okay. like, I only took like a, a step back. He would still be within arm's reach, given okay. my height. He's and my going to try to step back though. Timian's taking it, kind of try to take a couple of steps back. Ah, ah, ah. Don't you move? Can I roll the intimidation? Yes. I'm feeling good about the rolls today, sir. <laughs> I shouldn't feel good about the rolls today, no <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, I rolled the eight. You can use strength instead of charisma for intimidation. Okay. Oh, no. oh, oh if I could use strength, yes. I rolled a twelve. Okay. There's just silence, and then uh, Timian says, "You are outnumbered. I'm afraid. You should leave. I will give you one more chance." To leave, do not cause any trouble. And if you do so, leaving Ernest here, perhaps I will let you live. But you so now you're my life. And you just threatened mine. I did indeed. You are still within my reach. And I, I promise you that I will obliterate you before they get to me. You may have four additional soldiers with you, but I'm still a force that you can't stop. Now, this was all a joke. Come on now, come on now, bring it in. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you would take this situation. And now that I see that you're ready to respond with force, I see that you can actually join us in taking down this watch. I don't really care about the points. Come, come, come on, come on, come, come on. He is going to try to back away from you. <laughs> he is backing away. Do you let him back away? I walk forward. Okay. Grin uh, on my face. So when you walk forward as he's walking away, does a 17 hit? It hits. An arrow flies by, landing right in between your armor. It takes six points of piercing damage as it hits you in the elbow, and immediately Timian starts to like back did away. Did we heal? Sorry? Did, did, did we heal from uh, the past yes. event? Yes. Okay. You should be at full everything. Okay. Yeah. So I look back at where the arrow came from. Okay. I look at the person. Why would you do a dumb thing like that? You didn't. So you uh, know the arrow came in that direction, but you cannot see the person. I'm, I'm just talking to the yeah, direction. Right. Why would you do a dumb thing like that? I was not going to hurt him. I was just seeing what type of forces he had to actually combat against the people that were coming to assassinate him. And now you've damaged me. Do you know what I would do to you? So at this point, Timian has gone out of your reach. Um, mm -hmm. he, he is, he's run back to the shop. He's kind of, you know, doing his best uh, to, to run back there. And uh, uh, Shion, she, she's rubbing her hands together. She has her, her gloves on, her gauntlets, uh, the shiny gauntlets. And then uh, Ernest just like ducks behind a crate. And you hear uh, Timian say, you're trying to tell me this was all a joke. Yes, if I was going to kill you, I wouldn't have told you to your face. I'd have just snapped your neck. Look, and Shion says, we we were hired to kill you, but we aren't actually here to kill you. And she looks at, looks at you, Brack, really seriously. Shion, I wasn't going to kill him. Yeah, you sure didn't handle that right, okay? This is what I'm saying, Brack. Sometimes you have to, and you're just trying to, kind of arguing. I'm afraid oh God, I'm we must hold you thoughts. here. I do believe the city watches after my life. You're just hearing his voice. But now I'm afraid there may be more than the city watch after my life. And that is unacceptable. I would ask that you surrender yourselves. If you do, I promise we will not take your life. Surrender. After Brack. we didn't just brought you back your protege. Brack, we don't, I don't want to get shot. Okay, I honestly think we should, for now, listen. If you want to surrender, you can. Brack. 
Uh, I will not surrender. Brack, we can always break out if we need to. We're both strong. Remember the arm wrestling competition on the second floor? We're fine. Yeah. We're fine. If I surrender, I want points. <laughs> points, you say? Fine, fine. We'll handle all of that afterward. But for now, I need you to throw down all of your weapons. I can't throw down my hands, you know. They, they, these are attached to me. Brack? I'll put down my harpoon. All right. <sighs> she yeah, just kinda, yeah, she only kind of puts her hands behind her back. And at this point, suddenly, you see four people dressed all in black, wearing a mask, and they have a long sword on their back, dash out from behind the boxes, and they start tying you up immediately. You're just going to let them do it? I look at them in their face. I smile. I, I want Cairo perception to notice the one who came from the corner that shot me. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Damn. It don't even matter. It was a five. It don't even matter. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. They, they all are wearing the same outfit. They, you know, they, they're super quick. You can't tell. Okay. So I just, I just yell. I just just say as they're wrapping us up. Whichever one of you that shot me, Brack always gets his lick back. Okay, great. And then I let them tie me up. Sure. They tie you up. They end up uh, putting a blindfold over you as well. And they're leading you somewhere. It's hard to tell, but they're leading you across the room. And suddenly you feel as if you're going downstairs. You walk down a flight of stairs. And you then, seems like you enter a room. They take off the blindfold, and you see that you're in a very dark room with a couple of chairs, and that's about it. No windows or anything. One little torch uh, that is unlit, but with the tools that you could use to light it. They leave you tied up, and they walk back to the door and shut it, leaving you two alone. Before before they leave out, I say, yep. Timmy, I just want to let you know, my team will come to look for me. And they will come to tell you exactly what I just told you. And when they do, I want my points. We will and then see, I just, young Brack. We will see. Okay. And then they, I just to sleep. they shut the door. Okay. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> what do you mean? That was, that, come on, that was flawless. You know, as long as he still sponsors the event, I don't care. <laughs> we already got the money for the sponsored event. He has oh, not paid God. us the money for the sponsorship. No, we never signed and got the contract oh, back man. from him. We never signed the contract? Oh, no. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the car showed up. I was supposed to go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Woo, I'm going to say you're you're back, uh, you know, just doing your thing. You're drinking. You're doing all that. Um, Eden, you're still <laughs> – you went out shopping. Uh, do you want to do anything else then, the last thing? So I was going to go to Timmy's right. after I got a new outfit uh -huh. so I wouldn't be as recognizable. Right. Um, do I see anything as I approach that back entrance? You actually see that the doors are closed. Okay. The doors are shut. I'll go to that the the door by the trinket shop road and I'll go knock on it. You knock and at first there's no response. It's pretty silent for a little while. Okay. But then the doors open up and you see Timmy with a smile on his face. Ah, my friend, welcome. I apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, hello. How are you doing this fair evening? Oh, I am doing more than well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, we ran into some trouble earlier and I'm hoping that a, a certain somebody found his way back to you. He pauses. Who would this somebody be? Oh, the boy you had working for you. A uh, friend of mine and I uh, found him 
<laughs> and uh, he was in some trouble with the city watch, and I was trying to... I was hoping he'd get back to you safely so he could maybe, uh, maybe could get you, him off this floor. Could you please come in, Eden? Sure. You walk in, and he walks behind you and shuts the door. <clears throat> kind of take notice of that, but don't don't yeah. react too strongly. He's the only one you, you currently see in the room. Now, my question is simple. Was there anything you wished to tell me, you or your lovely group of friends? Well, yeah, I was trying to get here before the city guard cut me off. They saw me and my friend find Ernest, and they tracked us to our hotel, and I think Ernest is a good kid, doesn't deserve what's going on, and the, the bandits that he was associated with didn't, as, didn't deserve it either, so I was trying to get him to it's you. The, the bandits he was associated with? You're yeah. saying that Ernest is a thief? No. He just happened to know people there and tried to help him out when he could. If I heard correctly, the thieves were wiped out. Yeah. City guard had a bounty on him. City guards wrapped up in a whole bunch of weird business that I think an influential political figure like yourself would want to know about. And why would I want to know about this? You can tell he's looking for a specific answer. Because, Mr. Timian, I'm going to be outright with you. They contracted a group of regulars, led by myself, to kill you to get a fast pass to the test. And I knew it sounded too good to be true, and doing our own reconnaissance because they wouldn't ask, ask any questions. You seem like an up-and-up -up guy who could actually help this town more than the city guard pretend to. So, that's why I went to find Ernest, to get a, a, a completely legitimate... Um, read on you. I mean, you can only trust the people in this town so much, but he worked mm. with you very closely. And from what he told us, sounded a whole heck of a lot better than what the city guard was painting you out to be. And I figured to keep him safe, because like I said, the city guard was on his tail and on our tail. And like I said, we just had to conveniently um, distract them. Um, I wanted to get him to you and hopefully you could get him off this floor. I know you want us to get that that necklace for you and you have connections on other floors so i thought you'd be the best person to send them to to keep what, safe. What, what are you getting at eden well first off i'm trying to warn you they're they're contracting bunches mm. of regulars to kill you who is part of the council of the city figured that might be pertinent information and he seemed rather fond of, Fer of, of Ernest, and I wanted to make sure he was safe. He seems like a really good kid in a shitty situation. Well, I do love my what work. I'm I do love it when business is booming. Yeah, and... What if, if I told you that I have two of your friends locked up downstairs? And he smiles. Is it... Is it the tall one? Indeed. <laughs> that would, oh, and like, Eden like genuinely gets mad, throws the bag of clothes down she has. I knew I shouldn't have sent, I knew I should have sent Zhang. Oh my gosh. Did he like try to intimidate you and be weird? Oh, he actually <laughs> threatened to assassinate me. Oh, great. That's exactly what I told him not to do. She's like genuinely flustered. <laughs> I, I genuinely apologize. And she like, you know, does like a half like kowtow bow to him. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... But I'll send what? a better negotiator next time. No, I, no, I, sh it, I should have come myself. Understandable, but why Why should I believe that you are not planning to kill me and that you are being truthful about this whole situation? Why shouldn't I also lock you up? Because Rowan, the head of the city guard, oh, and, his little henchmen, and his little henchman, Hoban, seem to have a thing for you, and they want you taken out because you're the one corrupting the city. But I genuinely think uh, they're uh, the uh, ones that are. Because apparently they can just give us a fast pass to the test, which takes a two-month waiting list and 20,000 points uh, per regular. I have an eight-person group. The numbers get right, pretty high right. really quickly. They seem to like to shift a lot of the blame to you. And, well, I do, think, I do think there are parts of the city that could benefit from your generosity. Um, I don't think they're really making any headway. They like to claim that they're not affiliated with Jihad or the Testing Bureau or anything like that. I don't believe them. 
they seemed a little too interested in my group and were rather okay with the wiping out of these bandits that had two rotten apples and a small ring in a chest. And they were right. such they were such hellions to the city. I rather doubt their motives and that I honestly and honestly them going after Ernest kind of confirmed my suspicions that they are looking to make some rapid changes in the city. And that's why I thought I'd go to you. So you are not trying to kill me. The city watches. No. No. Roll persuasion. Or, yeah. Okay. Uh, 15. He's looking at you, and you, you can tell he's almost, like, waiting to... You, he kind of raises his hand for a minute. And he kind of closes it. Very well. And you see him walk over to his counter. He walks behind it, and he presses something, and suddenly the floor shifts. And a staircase going downstairs appears. He kind of shifts his clothes a little bit, grabs some keys, and uh, tells you to follow him. I follow. He leads you down a long flight of stairs where some torches are lit. And uh, Brack, just a few minutes after you're placed in there, you know, Shion's just like, ugh, you know, he's just talking about random stuff. Suddenly you hear the door clinking and the lock opening up and the door opens. And you see Eden and Timian walk into the room. Told you. <laughs> Brack, considering I just heard you were the one that got you in this situation. Oh, that was a lie. Shush. <laughs> Eden, please, I don't want to hear I, a word. Never put me with Brack again. I don't know. Every time something goes wrong, and I just <laughs> Jong, put me mean? with anyone else. Jong, it doesn't matter. Anyone, please. Eden and, is just uh, standing there, arms crossed, holding the bag, and she pulls out a cloak for Brack, one that's like his size. Okay. Put this on and be quiet. Uh, and then she she throws. Uh, nah, they're still tied up, different... so just kind of want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I still throw it at his face anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. And so can I take you to? Suddenly, you see it's it's dark in the room, but suddenly mm -hmm. the the ropes are being cut, and they're both set free. And you look over, and you just see like an outline of a person as they then uh, run out of the room. Ah, they're such good workers, <laughs> Mister Brad. Seems like I do believe you owe me an apology. I do believe you owe me some points. I kick Brack. Brack, apologize. Points first. Apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry that you got scared and almost wet your pants. Actually, apologize. <laughs> this is like a giant toddler. Actually, apologize, Brack. I'm you sorry that you couldn't take information and actually, you know, use it to protect no, yourself. No offense taken, and uh, and Eden, you notice that Brack is bleeding from the from the shoulder, and uh, you know, oh, oh gosh. I don't believe he's hurt that badly, but uh, you can imagine uh, he... that I was a little bit uh, shocked by what he said. Yeah, and he probably didn't deliver it in a very negotiable way. She just shakes her head. I, I delivered it as negotiable as I possibly could. I gave you explicit <laughs> instructions. And I was trying to get these points. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, he motions for you to, to uh, bring up your pocket, Brack. And uh, he brings up his. There you go, my friend. Transaction complete. And he gives you five points. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get this straight. <laughs> I come to you with information. I come to you yes. with your luggage. I hand you your luggage. I joke with you, banter. Ha 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 ha, I'm going to kill you. And then you say to me, lock me up, shoot me in my shoulder. Say you will give me points, but give me five points. <laughs> Indeed, that is how business I'm works, killer. my friend. Eden, I'm a killer. <laughs> Eden, Brack, I'm a child. No, and she was just like Brack. completely losing it at this point. Brack, shut your mouth, put oh your cloak God. on, and don't say another word. Let the adults speak, okay? And I, I throw Shion a shirt and another jacket 
for her to put on. To Thank you, Eden. Change her appearance. I'm so glad you're, you're welcome. <laughs> it's a bunch of herding toddlers again. All right, Mr. Timian. Indeed. What do you plan on doing with Ernest? And where is he? You don't keep Currently, him down. Currently, one of my employees, one of my protectors has Ernest. We're going to have a talk with Ernest. I'm going to see what his situation was. I heard a little bit about it from your friend, that he is affiliated with the thieves in some You're manner. not going to hurt him, are you? Oh, no, I wouldn't hurt him just because he stole a couple trinkets. No, 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 no. I simply wish to have a talking with him, and I would like to have him back as an employee of my establishment. I think it would be wise to maybe send him to one of your associates on another floor. If the city guard is truly after him and they're currently holding two of his friends, which hopefully you could swing your political weight around and maybe get them out as well. They are be thieves. Great I'm afraid that situation is one that would ruin my reputation if I got involved. Now, with Ernest, there is no proof of the situation. I'm sure we can talk to him about it, but I will handle all of that. You focus on the match tomorrow. I made Ernest a promise that I would keep him safe, and I trust you to maintain the promise. Promise complete. <sighs> okay. Can I roll insight to see if he's lying? Sure. Okay. Uh, Twelve. Mm, it's really hard to tell. Okay. Now the night is the night is it's it's going on. I recommend you head on back to your to your home. You have a big day tomorrow, from what I hear. Yeah. I thank you for letting me know about this situation. In fact, very soon, this problem will be resolved. Because soon, be on... I'll be talking and finishing a new edict with the council. The city watch you... will no longer have any power in this city. Starting in a couple of days. How do you Instead, mean? Instead, I'm sure I can trust you. You did potentially save my life after all. <laughs> Jihad's empire is going to have a lot more influence on this floor and on Artlem going forward. So we will have no need for a city watch. Really? Indeed, indeed. There have been too many problems caused because of a lack of dedication to their job. And so this time is very well, I would say. Everything is lining up into place. So maybe that's why they wanted to take you out, because they got wind, they caught wind of this. Well, I will be talking to the council about this in a couple of days, setting everything into motion. But no need to worry, I have my protectors guarding me. Are any of the City Watch, like, even regulars or rankers of any kind? No, no. They're just people. They're highly skilled and trained individuals. Some of them may be regulars, but most of them are inhabitants of the town. Okay. What about the people that are less fortunate in this town? What do you plan to do with them? Oh, we plan on implementing many different laws and, and various things. You know, fundraisers to help them in, in their time of need. Once this new situation with the Jihad Empire comes into play and to practice... I believe we will help these individuals start a new life. You're not planning on selling them off, are you? <laughs> He's taken aback, selling them off. The slave trade was outlawed in Artlem 200 years ago. Over 200 years ago, in fact. Well Pardon my suspicions. Just one of my teachers. That happened to him, so I'm just looking out for folks. <laughs> Shion kind of raises an eyebrow. I see. Well, like I said, go on about the rest of your night. We, the city of Artlem, have this covered. Go and just collect your points. And she puts out a hand for to, like, shake it. Oh, and he, he gives you a nice firm shake, and you can feel all the various kinds of rings on his big hand. 
Have a wonderful evening, Eden. Miss, he nods to Shion. Um, uh, she stares at him. <clears throat> and you, Brack, I apologize for the trouble. But thank you for your intentions. I trust they were pure, but... If you are ever seen in my shop again, I believe there will be trouble. You are no longer welcome here. <laughs> Brack, I don't want to come back you. to your piece of crap. God dang, go shop. <laughs> 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 Brack, I get rid of you. <laughs> he just stomps out the door. Okay, okay. I'm going to say you all head out of the room. Making your way back to back to Beatrice's, you have your your uh, disguises or the cloaks and everything. Uh, Jong, I'm gonna say you make your way back as well, correct? Yes. Okay, you make your way back, and I'm gonna say you all meet back up in Beatrice's for let's say one last uh, conversation, just a quick one before uh, the evening is done. I just took out a thousand points for the clothes, so just to cover all that. Oh, okay, that perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say you have uh, a bunch of cloaks for everybody. Yep. All right, you all uh, meet back up in the in the building. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, Brack, we got to work on your tact. That is a lesson for another floor. We just got to get off this this mess. Um, does anybody know where Wu is? Or uh, Jean? I get in the room right now by myself. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Are, wait, I'm in so the other are room. We, Everyone's back. Yeah, Jong is back. But we're all in one room, or are we? No, no I'm in the girl's room. There's two rooms. Right, there's there two. Is okay. two. Yeah. Okay, so who is in what room? Who's me, in you, me, you, Victor, and Brack have a room. Okay. Yes. Right? None of you are there except for me right now. Right, I, I took right. my, I, I took the two, Brack and Shion, back to the girl's room just to talk. Okay, uh, so, okay, okay. So right. Zhang would be headed back into the room with Wu, where Wu is, yep. and Eden and Xion would be going to their room. Yes, but okay. I'm going to say that on the way back, Xion texts you and tells you we need to talk, and she texts you as well, Wu. Okay, so then we'd all be going into their room? Well, uh, your choice, yeah. That'll be for the best. Okay, okay. Do you do you put on some clothes, Wu, or what's going on? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that he thought about yeah, it. Yeah, he thought about that way too long. That was uh, that was a bit long. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, just underwear though. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> so you all meet up in the girls' room. She only sees you, Wu, and just goes like. Oh, God. You, can't you put on some clothes? Oh my uh, this God. is my special time, Shion. You're interrupting. I don't know what you. I oh don't want God. to know the definition of that, Wu. And I, I, I throw him, I throw him like, uh, like a, just like a, uh, a hoodie, to like wear. All right, I'll put it on. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need to kind of like conceal our identity a little bit better. Um. So. Uh. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah, Brack was... got Brack got captured by Timian. He didn't really handle that well. I'm they gonna also say, I'm going to say you uh, update them. Uh, yes, okay. I update them. So, what is our plan for tomorrow? Well, the fight's still going on. We need to get these funds from Timian. But that conversation you guys had doesn't bode well for me. I don't I, trust him not, any more than I trust the not, City Watch. Yeah, we're not we're not doing a contract with him. We're just going to let that evaporate. We didn't get the points. The contract is only signed on my pocket, and you see her delete it. Let's just forget that ever happened. Let's just... No, 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 no. Let's get the money from him. I'm just no. saying. No. No. All we gotta do is promote his shot mid-fight. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we just need to wash our hands of this floor and get out of here. I think Zhang was right all along. I don't think our plan works if we don't get the funding from him. Yeah, it does. How do you figure? We don't have enough to place the, the minimum bet that we'll all get the payout that we need. If we combine our points, yeah, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> we definitely don't. And y'all out here spending money left and right. We, we should have enough because I, I hear that everyone was spreading word about the event and they're all going to be putting money into the pool. And I think I remember Damien saying that they're only taking 10%. We should have plenty. The venue is taking 10%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but everything Fair else, enough. I mean, as long as... It depends we... on how the depends on how the bet plays out then exactly everybody needs to bet according to our plan if they don't we're screwed yes speaking of which i think leaf made it back okay she just she said something about names when she texted me something about being evil so we'll see how that goes i guess oh my Excuse gosh me? <laughs> yeah i don't know it was a, a sorry that's all i know something about being evil in a name but Great, Amy great, is definitely great. behind this. A hundred percent behind this. But overall, I mean, I think it's gonna go well tomorrow. I hope so. Zhang, our you whole, ready? Our lives are literally depending on us. And you notice Zhang is staring at the ground, not saying anything. Hey, Zhang, you right? What? Yeah. Um, I'm fine. I just, I'm, I'm gonna go lay down. You know, get ready for. Tomorrow. It's gonna be a big day. You got your hair dye and everything? Yeah, yeah, it's it's all taken care of. Nothing. Okay. And he walks out the room. And good night, says she. Is he ever gonna learn. learn to open up? No, I've tried. I thought maybe I understand this is hard for him, but still. It'll be fine. It's just how he is. Right. What we should do is not... We, we shouldn't stop trying to open him up, though. Everybody has their own timing for that sort of thing. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I think we should get some sleep and yeah. coordinate for tomorrow because we got stuff to do. All right, sounds, sounds good. good. You all have a wonderful night, okay? All right. All right. You all head to bed, preparing for the day tomorrow. Brack, you were able to get your wound treated. It wasn't that bad, honestly. The arrow just, you know, it barely, uh, you know, it, was, it didn't pierce you that much. Um, and you're all able to rest up for tomorrow. And with that, we're going to take our break before we get to the, the main event. So don't go anywhere. Uh, five minutes of memes and fan art. Hope you all enjoy it. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Not bye. See you soon. Don't go anywhere. Good. All right.
All right, welcome back everyone. I wanted to really quickly say this art is by Kiki Spams. This isn't Gure-san. Shout out to Kiki, you're awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> welcome everyone. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the memes and the fan art. As incredible as always, uh, it's super fun uh, seeing them and hearing everyone's reactions. So thank you all for, for uh, submitting. Uh, if you want to join in on the fun, Discord's down below. You know the drill by now. Um, and if so far you're enjoying where things are headed, don't forget to leave that like. And uh, yeah. Any last minute thoughts before jumping back in? Probably it's time not. to get this show on the road and see if it works. <laughs> Team ain't gonna pay with you. Okay. <laughs> I think we may have started a civil war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we'll being see. said, we'll do what I must. We'll be gone, oh, we'll be gone no. before. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the floor, it's like on fire. Yeah. If it's a constellation, <laughs> we'll be long gone before this floor blows up on itself. <laughs> if we leave things in a worse state than they were before we showed up, are, are, doesn't that make us the villains? <laughs> yes, it does. yes, it does. But <laughs> who's to say it wouldn't have ended up Every, that way anyway? Damien, sure. everyone's the hero of their own story. Relax, it's all fine. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it is the next day. You wake up bright and early or whenever, you know, it's morning at this point. And uh, we're gonna first start with just Damien, Victor, and Leaf. So, uh, as a reminder, Victor just lets you know, okay, so 5 p.m. is the preliminary. So we gotta make sure we're on time for that. And the winner of Jong versus Leaf is gonna fight me. Is that right, Damien? That is correct. All should go according to plan. No. I would like I would like for you and Leaf to go get a nice disguise while I drum up more hype and perhaps get more sponsors. I still don't like the name you chose, but I guess well, we have to roll with it. Well, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> There's I... no one scarier in the tower. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how, uh, what everyone thinks. All right, Leaf. And, uh, <laughs> you can tell Leaf is just like, she looks tired. She's got circles under her eyes. Uh, and, uh, come on, let's go. And, okay, okay. And she's trying to, you can tell, trying to get into character and, uh, get ready for the day. And, uh, Leaf says, wait, really, really quickly, Damien, can you remind me everything I have to keep in mind for today? How to be evil. Go. You're going to have to kill Jong when you see him. <laughs> you didn't mention that last night. You told well, me to put on a has... scowl and to, you know, to do all talk weird and funny and all that stuff. Not kill Jong. These are things you have to do if you want to achieve true villainy. <laughs> okay, but it's just an act, right? Well. For amateurs, I want you sh should probably treat it like it's the real thing. All right. Well, I'll try my best. Let's go get a disguise, Victor. <laughs> you can just tell she's over it. Uh, and she and Victor leave the room, wearing their hoods and all that. But before he does, Damien turns or Victor turns back and says, "Hey, Damien, you should probably dress up differently as well." Because according to Eden, they showed up and uh, it might not look good if you're coordinating this and we're suspicious being, you know, tracked by the city. You get what I'm saying. You well, I'm not doing any. I think it would be more suspicious if the person who is organizing the fight not plan his fight on the day of the fight. What? Okay. Just, I'm just all I'm saying is um, just try to act a little normal, you know? I am going to make every capitalist proud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he leaves the room without saying anything else. <laughs> do you choose to do anything else while they're out doing this? Any like one thing? I put on my cleanest clothes. Brush off any dust. Yep. Trim up a little bit of my hair. Looking good, Damien. And I walk out that door and I let everybody in that lobby know that I, Damien Frog, am leaving. You're you're leaving, and if you had the patrons stand up, you you're going to be at the event this evening, correct? 
Absolutely. In fact, I am still looking for sponsors if you would like to Spo join in. I was simply hoping to bet. It sounded like a very good time. Betting, of course, is also welcome. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I'm very excited for this event. Who, Sir Damien, do you think we should bet for? And there's a few people now gathered around you. The peop Some of the people you talked to the previous day, but others you don't even recognize, but they're just as excited. Well, who would you recommend? Who do you think is going to win the fight? Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but the champion I have fourth is of the Coon family. Of course, of course. Quite a famous one at that. The great mm. Coon Victor. Self-taught in his own fighting style. So talented. His own fighting style? And they start whispering to each other. Exactly. And as a little extra bonus, the person, his apprentice himself, the person he is personally training, will be vetting any challengers. So oh, okay. it is sure to be a pretty interesting fight. But <laughs> I have no idea who Kuhn Victor will be up against. But... We're very excited, and we hope to see you at the event later on. Of course. Okay. There is lots of money to be made. All and right. of course, I am I am happy to drum up some events while I'm here on the sixth floor. <laughs> one, one businessman comes up. Uh, what was the, uh, the company you said you were representing? Uh, some syndicate, correct? <laughs> Yes, the 21st floor, the syndicate. The D and B syndicate, that is. But what does D and B stand for? Mm, I don't think you want to know that answer. Oh, gosh. I understand quite well. <laughs> Look forward to doing think business with you. Think very carefully what D and B mean, <laughs> and I think you will get the picture. <laughs> I was gonna, never mind. Uh. <laughs> I did the talk real quick. I, I went back and watched some of the video. Oh, yeah. We've butchered that oh. name throughout these past three episodes. <laughs> it's been like five different things. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. So, we have, you, yeah. We have ties to many many businesses on the 21st floor fair enough okay if everyone could give me like one main task you want to do uh before like leading up to this event at 5 p.m uh i just need to text leaf and tell her to meet me at 4 at beatrice's 4 p.m beatrice's got it she responds back with it with an okay and it's a lot more like usually she's like okay with an exclamation point probably two of them but this time it's just like an o you just it's just o and k and that's it plain and simple uh I'm, yep i will be spending my time going to every single shop okay and explaining how best to make the most money right and you know browsing the wares and perfect showing up for public events Letting everybody know that I, Damien, yes, I'm going to give them the most <laughs> exciting thing to happen on the sixth floor. Since a dory jihad climbed. Okay, you name drop on a dory. Okay, sure. And you know when you do mention that, they're like, "Oh, did you hear that a dory jihad apparently beat a ranker?" Of course, I heard. <laughs> but this will be an even grander event. <laughs> Even grander, oh my. And then some of the shopkeepers say, we heard about this from the training grounds. Uh, you find out that they were also advertising the event in some way. Uh, so that gives you some perspective. By this point, the whole town, not much of the town seems to be talking about it, save for a few individuals. Um, but most people are looking forward to it. Uh, okay, anyone else? Who else? Um, Eden bought very town appropriate clothes to blend in as much as she can, and she's okay. just kind of out on the street listening in and observing everything and trying to keep an eye on what the city guards are up to around the training grounds. Okay, roll perception for me. Ooh. 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what was my perception again? That's another 22. Okay. So, you do overhear a few things. Uh, a lot of what you hear is talking about this upcoming fight. A lot of people saying that, um, you know, who they're betting for. Some are hoping for the underdog, but most are saying, oh, it's the Kuhn family and, and all this stuff. Um, you do hear a couple of uh, extra little things. You hear that apparently sometime in the night, uh, some shops got raided by bandits and some items were stolen from a few of the poorer shops, poorer establishments. And a lot of them you see are complaining to the city watch and the soldiers are just trying to calm them down. And um, th th that's also a, a fair bit from the merchant side of things that you overhear. Uh, but aside from that, a lot of talk about the fight. Okay. Um, can I, uh, did I hear what particular shops or just in general, it was kind of a general raid? It, so yeah, a lot of the smaller vendors. Um, smaller vendors. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the ones that were not in the center of town, but off in the outskirts. Um, Does it seem like the guard are doing anything to help them, or are they just trying right. to placate them? It seems like they're listening at the very least, but you can't tell if they're taking action. It's hard to tell. They're just, they're just trying to listen, you know, but you don't see them actually doing anything yet. And I'm also going to peruse the uh, the uh, blah, 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 the residential district and see if I see anything of earnest of any kind. Just on just <clears throat> walking sure. through. Roll investigation. Okay. Looking for Ernest Part 2. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, investigation. That's a 14. No sign of Ernest. Okay. All. all right, and then I'm going to just, at, on my final tour of the city, I'm going to yes. go towards the testing bureau and just try to get the word on the street there. Because I haven't Some... been up that way. Yet. Okay. <laughs> Most of the people in that area don't seem to care about what you are talking about. A lot of them mm -hmm. are asking you for money and for points and for food. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into the testing bureau. Sure. You walk in and you see a woman behind the reception desk with a monitor on uh, in, uh, at the top of the room talking about some of the news and, and stuff like that. The person looks up. How can I help you? Uh, hello, I was going to see how much it costs to take the test and what the wait time is. Currently, it costs 20,000 points to take the test with a wait of two months, unless you pay double, in which case it'll be one month wait. All right. Um, how much would it cost to be instantly moved to the front of the line? She looks up instantly moved. Mm -hmm. And you see her flip through her chart that she has. 100,000 points per regular. And you may take the test tomorrow. All right. Interesting. Okay. Was that all? I think so. Interesting. I heard some city guard talking to, about some regulars that they were going to send through immediately. I just thought it was weird. Hadn't heard anything about that. So I thought I'd just come in and check myself. If the regulars were to gain those points, then yes, they would be able to. I heard it was funded by the city guard, which is why I thought it was weird. So the city anyway, watch is in charge of issuing points to the regulars for accomplishing various tasks around the city. Are they affiliated with you guys? Indeed, they are. Huh. Interesting. They said they weren't affiliated with anyone. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate all the information. Have a great day. You as well. I'll head out. Sure. Okay. Now, uh, Jong. Um, Jong is meditating in their room, like, uh, you know, the room that he shares with Wu and Brack and okay. uh, whoever else it was. Um, yep. Before the fight. Um, he's wearing now his, he just has like a tank top, like the sort of hooded coat that he bought from that shop. Um, and he has dyed his hair back now. And it's the, you know, the blonde slick back hair of Gasu. Yep. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, as he's meditating, he 
starts to think back on a memory. Uh, it's a flashback from time he spent training with his master. And so you sort of flash back and we see a younger Gasu, a little bit younger than he is now, sitting on a rock, quietly sitting in sort of like a very meditative pose, thinking to himself, when all of a sudden a rock comes flying out of the air and almost hits his head, but he catches it right before the rock hits and just says, you're gonna have to try harder than that, old man. And just then the back of a sword taps on his head and you hear a, a scruffier, older voice say, how's that? Yeah, yeah, you got lucky. I was distracted. Distracted? Huh. Now what would you be so distracted about? Isn't the whole point of meditating to clear your head? And at this point you see an older man walk around Gasu. He's got a reddish yellow robe on, white hair, very like tied up in a uh, ponytail, but it's very long. Got tons of these like scars on all over his face and he's wearing this armor underneath the robe and is very beaten and bruised and has all kinds of chips taken out of it and stuff. Um, and on the side of his waist, he carries the same sword that Gasu now has. Do you want something, old man? Or are you just here to pester me some more? What is it you're distracted about? It sounds like you've got a lot on your mind. Well, if you have to know, I, uh, I saw another one today. Another one of them, your family, they're not, they're not my family, not anymore. Good, good. Keep this in mind, Gasu. This tower is a dangerous place. Even more dangerous for those foolhardy enough to trust people. And he, at this point, pulls out the sword and swings it right close to Gasu's neck. He doesn't actually touch it, but it's like just barely tapping his neck. And those that give their trust to people are usually the first to go. And Gasu sort of takes his hand and pushes the sword away gently. Trust me, I won't forget. Remember the importance of our mission. Remember what I taught you. And at this point, it flashes back to present day. Zhang is sitting in his room meditating, and he thinks to himself, Song Hoon. I haven't forgotten. Not a single day has gone by that I've forgotten. There's nothing left inside of me. At least not anymore. I won't ever let that fire burn out. All right. Let's do this. And he stands up, he picks up his sword, and he throws the hood up that was on his coat and he begins to walk out the room. Okay. At this time, could everyone mute except for Brack? Oh. Bye, everyone. I love you. Good luck. Brack, this is going to be pretty straightforward. Could you briefly describe what you want to do today? So, today... I plot my revenge on Timian's guard. I scope out his location. I try to figure out which one it was that shot me. Okay. I failed to do so. And so then I just go back to promoting the fight. Got you. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> while this is happening, while you are searching for the guard that you are un unable to find, you suddenly get this weird you suddenly kind of feel strange and you start to see things in your head completely unprovoked. It's very odd and it just happens so quickly that you're almost unable to, unable what to make of it. But it happens so quickly 
little flashes, little images, and just the words are kind of pouring through your head. It just it's it's similar to the feeling you had on the second floor when Flux Falk was with you. Yeah. But you were able to discern you were able to see a younger Gasu with an older man talking to him with their blades out. And it just kind of happens so quickly and you hear much of that conversation that was just described. It just kind of like flies by. You are able to recollect it. You weren't able to catch, you're unable to what to make of it, but you were able to just witness that in like a few seconds. It's... And you kind of cut back and it's gone. Did I just see Prickly Boy? Who's that person with him? Hmm. I'll have to ask him about that. And then I'll continue on. Okay, fair enough. I'll ask everyone to unmute. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. So, uh, I will say that uh, because we did discuss this in the in the mute session, Brack was just searching for the guard who uh, who attacked him, but he was unable to find him. Uh, oh boy, that that was what he chose to do with his day. So, uh, <laughs> and then you know, I couldn't find him. Went back to the That's it. <laughs> oh, like he stumbled upon a lost long relative or something. <laughs> Like, nah, he just had a score to settle. Black always had a score to settle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That is, uh, Fair enough. Yeah, well, you know, you know, I won't say anything else. Okay. Yeah. So, at this point, it is nearing 4 p.m. Wu, you are back at Beatrice's, and suddenly you see a short, hooded figure walking towards you. I don't know, like, peer. Leaf? And uh, this person's wearing a black cloak. And when they look up, you see like a witch doctor's mask like on their face. It's got this like long nose that comes down. <laughs> it just covers, it's covering the face completely with this black robe that stretches all the way down. And she's, you see this person trying to, for a second, trying to take it off and then just gives up. It's, it's me, Mr. Wu. What are you wearing? <laughs> Victor and Damien want me to be evil, apparently, so this is my outfit now. No offense. And you know I care about you, but you look ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do, I know, but they said it would help sell the fight, so. Sell the fight? Oh my god, this is Damien all over. You, look, Leaf, I called you here because I need to talk to you about the fight. Okay. And this, at least lose the mask. <laughs> you think so? It's not necessary? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, it's counterproductive to what we need you to do here. <laughs> okay, okay. It's just In the back of Leaf's head, she just hears Damien's voice. The mask stays on. <laughs> we need it to sell the match. <laughs> what if, uh, she, she see she's a little conflicted, but then she says, can you help me take it off? I grab it and I'm like, here, fine. And I place it to the side of her of sure. her head, right? So it's yeah. still on, but right. not covering her face. Okay. Just leave it like that. Oh, it's hard to breathe under there too. Oh my gosh. So how are you feeling about the fight? Um, a little more nervous than I was yesterday. I'm trying to remember everything that uh, Damien taught me. And... Look, look, look put, put all of that out of your head. I don't know what he said, <laughs> and I actually don't care what he said, right? And I know what I said. Yeah. But don't listen to what I said either. Yeah, we have a plan with this fight, Leaf. But I'm interested to see what you can actually do. Yeah. I want you to take this fight seriously. Put everything out of your mind about throwing your match. Go at Jong like you wanted to beat him. Imagine that he is the same as what Bull did in the desert to the cactuses. What Bull did? Yeah, you remember how you felt then? Yeah, I was really mad. Try and capture that feeling again, and do everything you can to beat John. 
<laughs> she starts chuckling. <laughs> it's funny because he's also a cactus. <laughs> You're right, he is! <laughs> Okay, okay. That helped. Thank you so much, Mr. Wu. I feel a lot better now. Yeah. Now, I know that Damien is probably going to keep telling you to do whatever it is he said. Just nod and say yes, and then do what I said. Okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Got it. <laughs> Got it. All is right, that it? Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to go prepare. That's it. And she turns around, and you also notice, like, the cloak also comes with a long black cape that trails along the ground. And I'm just, like, <laughs> watching her walk away, shaking my head in disgust. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to do one more thing quickly. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the training grounds. Okay. Uh, talk to the receptionist there real quick. Sure, and you notice that there's already a lot of people gathering, so they've already made arrangements with a lot of chairs surrounding the grassy open area and there's torches surrounding the area as well. So you have to wait a little bit because people are talking to the receptionist, but then he motions you forward. Uh, yes, how can I help you? Looks like there's quite the turnout for this event, huh? Yes, indeed. They want to watch the preliminaries and then see the main event. So, uh, just between me and you, um, I am one of the people that helped organize this whole thing. Oh, okay, okay. What are the odds looking like right now? Just based on what you've gathered so far. Well, we're not taking bets for the preliminaries so far. And so people can place their bets after the preliminaries if they wish, but some have already placed their bets ahead of time. Many mm -hmm. are already voting for Kuhn Victor. They're watching... Have you seen this? And he holds up a poster, and it's that pose that Brack described. <laughs> Victor, you know, you know, with the, the same steps and everything. Uh, apparently, a lot of people think this, this he's going to win. He's going to win for sure. Mm, yeah, he is, uh, something. Um... Do you know him? Uh, no, I've just heard a lot of rumors. Interesting. Not a lot of them great, but he seems pretty, pretty competent. I might bet on him my, myself, but what are the odds, specifically? 10 to 1, 5 to 1, out of oh. what you've gathered so far? Um, so far it's looking like 3 to 1. So far, Wonder but so far, not everyone's bet yet. They want to watch the preliminary first. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Sounds good. That's all I needed to know. I'll place my bets later as well. Well, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. At this point, it is nearing 5 p.m. The crowd is getting louder. Okay. Is everyone else gathering at this point? Eden has already slipped in with the crowd. She's Perfect. already there. Eden's all sly mode, okay. So Me I'm, and my yeah. uh, entourage, we are yes. on the highest seats. We have all sat down on the nicest the nicest part of the arena. Of course, of course. There, there is a special area for, for you all to sit. Um, and you notice and that it's you, Victor, and Leaf kind of sitting together. And uh, Leaf goes over, whispers, Hey, uh, Damien, I'm not going to wear the mask, okay? We talked about this. Damien? Your your, ident your <laughs> identity, keeping your identity secret is key to this fight. No, but trust me, I think it's going to help if I don't. The mask is still on the side of her head, by yeah, the way. She's yeah. technically wearing it, just not right. covering her face. Mm -hmm. I'll, make, I'll, I'll make one exception. If you do it without the mask, you cannot be sighted at all with Jong. You will have to stay completely out of sight. Okay. Yeah. You will not be able to interact with him, and maybe a lot of our associates too. You will only be able to stay with me and Victor for the rest of the floor. She looks over, looking over, and uh, Wu. You actually, you do end up seeing Leaf as well. You see her look over at you. Just it remember. Is my it voice is. in her head like Damien's voice <laughs> okay. was in her head earlier. Yes. <laughs> Disregard everything Damien says and listen to me. It is key that we keep your identity a secret I, I, or we will be exposed and we will all probably be in prison. 
I need but yeah, you can listen. But you can listen to Woo, sure. But if you do that, no, no, you we might be in prison. What are you talking about? I can hear your internal voice. <laughs> oh my god! The most divisive. Character. It is imperative. <laughs> <laughs> the new thing because it, it is it, it is revealed somehow that Jong and and you and, and you guy you fighting right now oh is God. found out we are screwed. Oh, what's happening? Now we're just having a mental conversation, <laughs> right? Because but, it yeah. doesn't matter. Jong is disguised as Gasu for a reason. But I am calm. So <laughs> I am calm. <laughs> I'm imagining just the, the two devils on the shoulders, and she's just looking back and forth chaotically. <laughs> it's oh my gosh. Uh, Race Vogue are definitely eating popcorn on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The most important thing is to sell this fight, but I know that Victor chose a very good disguise for you. You don't have to wear the disguise, Damien. If you wear the disguise Damien. once, you never have to wear the disguise again. Damien, I'm not going to do it. And she sounds like much more serious than she has been. Oh, this is unbelievable. Victor just kind of leans over. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to jail, man. <laughs> it's over if I go to jail. <laughs> you know the crimes I've committed? <laughs> oh, no. Nobody cares. Just stop. <laughs> and at, at this point, uh, Damien, um, Jan... This is, this is my great pretender moment. Uh, <gasps> yeah, great pretender! While, while this is happening, Yan, the owner of the training grounds, walks over to you, Damien, and says, Hey, can we... I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you're you're going to commentate the event, right? You're going to be the, the caster, right? Of course. Absolutely. All right, good. I would be delighted. Just making sure. Well, and he looks around. I believe it's time. Would you mind leading here for us as we start the preliminary? Absolutely. And I leap off of my grand seat into the middle of the trading ground. Okay. Really quickly, before Bracken Jong or Jong is there, and he's looking like you all. You all see him. He. He's wearing that classic Gasu look. He's seen with the blonde hair, slicked back. But Brack, you're you're also there, right? Yeah, okay. so I'm there. So I I walk up to Jung. I was going to do it after the fight. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, okay. if if necessary, so I walk up to Jung. Like Jung, before you go on the stage, do you mind if we talk a minute? Oh, he uh. I think he's a. Uh, oh, here. Gasu. Isaiah's got something going on. Once yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll cut. So wait, really quickly, Eden and uh, Wu, are you together or separated in the crowd? Sure, we're together. Sure. Okay, you're watching the event, kind of. Okay, so you would have had to have found. You would have had to find me because <laughs> I okay, was already there. Okay. Are okay. you oh, you're, you're disguised right now? I'm disguised, and I I got to the training grounds like an hour before the preliminary. Preliminary. Uh... All right, I'll roll to see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, roll investigation here. And then we'll do the Brack thing here. Uh, oh, my investigation sucks. 14. Should I roll against it? I guess I should have done that. Uh, no. No. Well, sh do, how, do you not want to be seen by anyone, Eden? Like, even the people you know? Um, like, how serious yeah. is this disguise? Uh, it, it's... She's trying to blend in with the people of Artlum more than she is with the people okay. in her team because she's sure. so readily recognizable with them. I so think yeah, she, she should roll against. Okay, let me roll against. So I'm gonna say roll stealth. Roll stealth. Uh, instead okay. of rolling investigation, that's kind of what I was trying to. Okay, uh, I got out. 19. Yeah, okay, you, you don't no. find her then. Yeah. Oh, don't see her. Okay. So All right. You, you, you I'm just gonna sit in the front then. Yeah. Front. Okay. Perfect. Um, now, Brack, go ahead. So, so Gasu, you, you, you are, I'm calling you Gasu now. This is my last chance to do so, probably. So, <laughs> Gasu, you are, I missed it. You're, you're sitting there, waiting for the fight, and then, uh, you notice Brack approach you. Hey. What is it? Uh, you know those visions that we had, uh, back on the second floor with the old, uh, witchy witch? 
What about it? Yeah, I just had one about you. Apparently, you were sparring with some 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 guy, and it it seemed like that person was very important to you. You mind talking about that a little bit? If, if you don't, that's that's fine. But and you notice he doesn't turn he doesn't turn his head, but he does like his eyes shoot over to Brack. What do you mean you saw me sparring with a person? What did they look like? I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I don't really remember, but they seem pretty old. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. They caught you a couple of times. Sorry, Milius, you cut out briefly there. Would you mind saying that again? Oh, I said, uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember exactly what they looked like, but they sure did piece you up pretty well. Brack. When exactly did you have this vision? This morning, when I was out looking for somebody to bust up. <clears throat> okay, I mean, I don't really know what you want to know, but it sounds like you somehow had a vision of me with my, my sensei. So it was your sensei. You mind if I ask, is that the reason why you're all prickly? Uh, I'm going to say that right as you're having this point of the conversation, Damien, you've taken center stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a preliminary fight sponsored by us at the syndicate on the 21st floor, whose purpose to climb today is to bring you entertainment that which you have never seen before on this floor i am your host damien me and my associates have personally funded this endeavor and as you know this preliminary match was completely free so anyone Woo! could watch everyone starts clapping yeah free of course, the next round will be uh, quite the charge for the uh, seeing the fight. But what? <laughs> this fight <laughs> is free. <laughs> they seemed caught off guard by that. Now, I would like to introduce our contestants. Over here, I have the apprentice of the great Coon Victor, who is out uh, up in the stands right now. Go ahead and wave, Victor. I, I shine my lighthouse over to him. Okay, sure, sure. He <laughs> waves and the crowd goes, whoa, there he is, there's Victor. And a bunch of girls start screaming. Very good, very good. You can get any merchandise you want over at our gift shop run by a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a mistake, folks. That is a frog running the stands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if you are looking for any drinks, we do have a sampler of a brand new product, the strawberry kiwi water. It's all coming. It is, on here. it is only a sampler, though. If you want to buy a bottle, it will be seven points per bottle. Mm-hmm. Ten. Um... Uh, Seven points per bottle for this round, and uh, a slight upcharge for the next one. <laughs> let's see it, let's see. People start whispering, strawberry kiwi water, you can tell they're uh, intrigued. It does sound delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> In fact, it is one of our sponsors. We are hoping that we can get other rankers on the cover of this bottle. But back to my introduction, of course. The great Coon Victor has apprenticed this individual, a very mysterious person, personally trained, though, by the great Coon Victor. Every time I say Coon Victor, a light, a light is, like, shining on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this case, though they may be small, they pack a fearsome wallop. 
it is my pleasure to introduce to you the great Flux Volk, the Scion of the Tempest. <laughs> At that, Leaf stands up. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Leaf stands up and she takes off the mask. She finally was able to unfasten it and she puts it back on the seat. And the crowd starts clapping, but then they kind of slow down a little bit, and you see them, hearing them whisper, and Woo and Eden and Brack, you're in the audience, and you hear them saying, is that just a young girl? Like, who, who is that? She still has the hood up, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. The hood is up, but like, her right. face isn't yeah, completely yeah. hidden. This jeopardized the plan, I knew it would. No, this is how the plan is supposed to go. No. <laughs> Now, she may appear to be a young girl, but I assure you, she is older than most of us here. Pretty Bible. <laughs> She's, like, looking very Her seriously around the room. Her power is incomparable, and she will show you on the battlefield when facing her other opponent. Can I start now a this rumor in the crowd? Yeah. I lean over to the person next to me. I hear she's over a thousand years old. Wait, would you hear that? I heard it on the street today near the Artlum Hotel where they were staying, oh. apparently. I heard it from one of the maids. You did say the older than most of us, okay. And, and you, you, it starts to spread a little bit in your area. Okay. <laughs> in, this, in this corner, we have the challenger. The challenger known as, um, what was your nickname again? Sorry, Gasu. Yellow Flash. The yellow flash himself, recently arriving on this floor. Here to make a name for himself very early on. Now these two contestants, they have quite the beef going. So I thought it only appropriate for these two to be our very first match. Woo! Everyone starts Woo! clapping and cheering. Uh, can I roll? Perception or investigation to see if I see Rowan or any of the, the, the oh, other yeah, guard around. Yeah. yeah, can I do that too? Because that's hey, mainly what I was looking out for. Both of you roll perception for your respective areas. Ugh. 21. Uh, 14. Uh, Eden, you do notice there are guards, but because of the way everything is lit for a dramatic effect, you can't mm. tell if, it, if, if it's Rowan or not. You just see armored people in the crowd. Okay. Uh, Woo! You see Hoban near your area, uh, watching the match. I got my sunglasses on, and I kind of turn to him and give him a little salute. He, like, looks at you, stares at you for a good while, and then turns his head back to the match. <sighs> Leaf brings out her Shinsu wand. It kind of doesn't really match, because it's all green and, you know, has a couple little sparkles and stuff, but she brings it out. You can tell she's getting ready. The crowd is going wild. Now, I cannot say what will happen. Will the challenger be slaughtered on the first attack? Or will our mysterious challenger break through and fight the great coon victor in the next round? We will find out today! Our, are both our contestants ready? Leaf nods. John also nods. Well, it sounds like we can begin the match. And I jump back to my entourage of the yes. other rich folks in town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I pull. I pull out my my uh, frog branded uh, thing. My stick, and I hit the gong that is sitting right next to us, <laughs> and I say. Begin! <laughs> All right, and instantly Leaf charges forward. All right, roll initiative, Jong. Okay. We got, we got, we got. Ten. Okay. I smell the road number. Oh, let me get my. Okay. So. You, you charge forward with your sword, but Leaf seems to be more prepared than you had thought. And she instantly whips out her Shinsu wand and prepares an attack, but she fires it and it just like, it almost hits the crowd. It like fires way off 
uh, and the, some of the crowd has to kind of duck out of the way, and you hear them whispering, she is a monster. But you can tell she's a little frustrated. Jong That's turn. right, she has no regard for human life, folks. <laughs> Better be on your guard. <laughs> All right, Jong. All right, um, I am actually, can I, can I do like a, you know, like just a regular attack, like not with the sword? You know, like it's just a punch or a kick? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, okay. It'd be a d4 plus strength if you hit. Word, word. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's 19. That hits. Roll for damage. Four plus strength. Okay, three plus six. Six. So what, do you, what exactly are you doing here? Uh, he's just gonna like sort of jump behind Leaf and then kick her to the other side of the the uh, field. Okay, you whip around and boom, you kick her and she was not prepared. Ah, she screams, yells in pain, and <laughs> hits the ground uh, a few feet away from you. But she gets up instantly. And you see her charge her Shinsu wand again, firing another blast at you, which easily hits, hits you right in the chest, catching you right as, you know, it, she recovered very fast, very quickly. And this hits you like a truck. It's a huge bang of Shinsu that smacks you right in the chest. Uh, yeah, take 10 points of force damage. Oh. Like our challenger underestimated the apprentice of the Great Tempest. <laughs> you can see her uh, trying to stay calm. All right, Jong. <laughs> gonna go. Okay, fifteen. Is that it? Yep, it hits. Beautiful. Uh, this time, I'm gonna do just a regular, like slash attack right okay and i'm gonna say like you know when we're using the blades and stuff you know you're you're hitting her but you're not trying to obviously damage her in a, any long lasting way sure sure unless hey, yeah. unless your name is damien frog in which case <gasps> sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> I mean, you can choose to just know that i'll kick your ass <laughs> there you go <laughs> I don't like that Joe didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no I was about to say I was about to say something, but I was gonna say, well, if John loses, then technically that means Damien is stronger than John because I beat Leaf. <laughs> wow, that's that's the logic. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Right. <laughs> All right. What was the damage on that, Gasu? Uh, four. Okay. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. Four. I always forget. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, well, strength. Seven. Okay. You whip your blade around, and you're again. You're not trying to severely damage her, but you slash her with the blade, and the the cloth, you know, her robe kind of gets slashed, and she tries to block it, but she gets knocked down again. Uh, you know, just some cuts and bruises and such from the from the fight that's happening so far. Kind of just going back and forth. This time, <sighs> Leaf takes a big breath, and she focuses her Shinsu wand. Gasu, please make a strength saving throw. Ooh. That's D twenty, right? Yep. Plus oh, okay. your strength. Are you? Is this something you're proficient in? Uh, I am not proficient in strength. Okay, so you're just gonna add your strength to whatever you roll here with the D twenty. Okay. 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 Eighteen. Fifteen plus three. Okay. Let me check here. So instantly this happened even faster than during the fight uh earlier with uh bull she summons this thing the vines start to automatically start rising up your body but you're able to slash the vines and hop out of the way before they entangle you <sighs> you can see her get a little frustrated your turn okay a very swift attack but flux folk misses <laughs> 13. that hits Okay. Uh, I think again. Yep. We'll do a sword. Uh, maybe maybe we could do something where like. Yeah. I have an idea. So how about like okay. instead of sword slashes, the sword is sheathed and he's essentially just whacking yeah, her with okay. the sheathed sword. I get you. Okay. We'll that do works. that. We'll do that. Uh, that would be a f 
Oh, hold on. Another seven. Okay. You hit her with the blade, knocking her to the ground. Another cry of pain. And she's starting to breathe heavily. And she looks up at you, Damien. And she's kind of looking around at all the crowd, all the people watching her. And people are shouting and just all this chaos all around her. And you can see her look a little uh, overwhelmed. Am I really sure her, bro? How, is it how, are, how is the crowd reacting around me? Some excitement, like, but a lot of like, come on, that's all you got? Can I reassure her? That's yeah, disappointing. I just want her to notice me. I'm gonna yeah, give her she, a look. She looks over at you. I give her a nod. That's it. That's all she needs. I give her a stare of, you have to work harder. You have to do more. Remember my words, Leaf, and don't listen to Damien. <laughs> she steals herself. And stands up. You can tell it's a little tough for her. And she prepares her Shinsu wand. Easily hitting you with another Shinsu attack as she fires it right as she gets up. It's like, you know, she she was doing it as she was getting up. So it, it travels very quickly. Go ahead and take another 10 points of force damage as the blast knocks the air out of you. It's like a green bang of Shinsu that just fires from the wand straight into your chest. <laughs> Another critical blow. And with that, the crowd starts roaring with excitement. Has Fluxvolt gained the upper hand? Will this force our challenger, Gasu, to take this more seriously? What are you doing, Gasu? The yellow flash! Finish her! I think... I'm going to... I'm going to use uh, Life Breath okay. on myself. Sure. And we'll do... Uh, let's see how many... Uh, six. Yeah, we'll do six points of SP. Okay. So suddenly, Jong... Uh, sorry, Gasu lets out a breath of air, and he starts... It's like a... You want to describe it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he is sort of getting up. He just got knocked down by that Shinsu blast. And he takes in a large breath and then exhales as the now air around him sort of solidifies in this like bluish looking Shinsu and it pours all over his body. And suddenly a lot of like the bruises and sort of like, you know, blemishes, if you want to call them that from where the Shinsu hit him, start to get lighter. And his body, you know, he starts to like pick himself up a little bit quicker. Okay. You can tell Leaf looks a bit like, you know, she'd seen it before, but she's still a little, uh, a little surprised by it. And the crowd starts booing everyone. Boo! Boo! That's cheating! Ah! Everyone starts to get upset. Self-care is important. <laughs> not entertain. It's not entertainment. Shut up. He's taking her more seriously now. All right. <sighs> not bad, little girl. And this time, Zhang draws the sword from the sheath. Oh, now that gets the crowd excited. Everyone starts roaring. You can tell Leaf is thinking hard. And she channels again, and the vines start appearing before you once more. Make another strength saving throw. Okay. Ooh, 18. So this time, because the blade is actually unsheathed, you're able to slice through the vines no problem. It's, you very easily see it coming this time. And there's a look of panic on Leaf's face as it's your turn. Okay. 15. That hits. Uh, I think we're gonna do... Blade Style Somersault for two TP. Okay, now, normally you would have said that first, but um, that's fine. You, I'll just say you were doing that automatically. So, uh, sounds good. So go ahead and roll. Oops. Um, okay. It's gonna be... So wait, is that plus? It's 2d6 plus strength. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. 
2 d six plus five, five, ten, thirteen. All right. You draw your blade, whipping through the air with that classic somersault move that everyone in your party knows by now. And go ahead and describe this last moment of the fight. Okay, so as he jumps up in the air and somersaults, he comes down, right down on top of Leaf, and instead of slashing, like just bringing the sword down, obviously like doing serious damage, he swings the sword right next to Leaf's body, just missing, and then kind of like swings the sword backward so that the hilt is facing her and slams the hilt right into Lee's body, sending her flying against the wall. <laughs> okay. She hits the wall, lands on the ground. You can see her trying to get up. Her muscles are shaking. And then she just collapses onto the ground. And the crowd just goes wild. Everyone's cheering. You do hear some booing though. You cheated. Uh, but a lot of excitement all around. Damien, well, <laughs> it would appear our match is over. To my own surprise, it appears our challenger has won. Give him a round of applause, everyone, everyone. for the challenger, Gasu. Everyone starts clapping. Brack, Wu, and Eden, how do you react to this? I'm already making my way down to the entry of the arena. I am keeping my eye on, uh, or I'm trying to keep my eyes out again for the guards that I saw, not okay. knowing who they are. Right. Okay. Brack is amazed at the uh, fight that Leaf put up against Gasu. Of course, so everyone. Okay. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Brack. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Oh no, no, no you're good. Go it came out of my mouth inst like instinctively. <laughs> you're Continue. I think. I think. I think that no, 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 it's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay. I, I was about to say. And of course, give it up for our valiant defender. They who would gatekeep our challengers from fighting the great Coon Victor. Give it up for Flux Folk. Flux Folk! We love you, Flux Folk! Everyone's just. And then suddenly you just hear like a, a small group of people, not many, but they start chanting Flux Folk! Flux Folk! Flux Folk! And, uh, yeah, we, uh, by this point, like, yep, you may get to the actual Flux Volk sneezing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what happened. Are you don't even have to cut to it. <laughs> At this point, Wu, you, you, you're heading towards Leaf, right? That's what you said? I'm heading towards the entrance to the arena, gotcha. so I'm not going to, like, appear yeah. in front of everybody. I just want to, like, be there when both her and Gasu walk back out. I see. Okay. At this point, everyone's excited. Yep. I would like to remind everyone that this event was a free event. So, be grateful to us on the 21st floor for bringing you such entertainment. And then, uh, oh, never mind, actually. I was going to say, I forgot y'all didn't sign the contract. Okay. Um, so, everyone starts cheering, you know, you get the clapping and everything. Gasu, you you see Leaf at this point. She's kind of struggling to get up. Uh, you've you've won the fight, you know. Um, some people are walking up to you. People are kind of going crazy. How do you react? Uh, Gasu is ignoring everyone, and he just turns his head and cocks it up to look at Victor. You see Victor just looking looking at you, and he gives you a smirk, and he starts clapping. Now, right. don't worry, folks. The match may be over, but the entertainment has not. I bring you our halftime entertainment. <laughs> you see, uh, <laughs> you see Yan kind of look at you. You can tell he's a little perplexed and waiting to see what you're going to do next. I mean, we don't. I mean, I, I whispered to Victor. We don't. Do we have that? I, I, we didn't. We didn't plan that. I mean. Have, do, have race vulgar do something. Here, race vulgar is banning the stands. I, I, I know, but like, <laughs> you know, maybe swap. Can you go man the stands? Um, I think they would look very down. They people would look down on me, a rich mogul, manning the stands. You're kind of right, actually. <laughs> You're kind of right. Okay, what do neither we neither of us can. I would like to draw your attention to 
This thing. Everyone's waiting with bated breath. This gong, it's really cool. It's on sale. <laughs> In fact, our champion, the great Coon Victor, will be on the floor. And he will be answering your questions uh, until the next match begins. Yes, question time, especially uh, questions about me and my glorious achievements. That yeah. is correct, and I know the ladies will want to ask you many things. Oh, certainly, but that's to be expected. I'll answer any question that anyone would have. And, and we yeah, hope... <laughs> go ahead. Bro, you're about to get that, that brotherly fist from Eden later, bro. <laughs> we are hoping that you will stick around because the next match is about to begin, except you have to have probably bought your tickets. If you got, if you got in here, if you got through the enormous lineup. Cool, cool. Place bets. Cool, cool. You hear Eden's voice in your head cuckooing to place bets. Huh. That's, that's weird. <laughs> it happened earlier, like, at this point. Be <laughs> sure. Anyone can just speak to anyone's mind. Be sure to buy. If you cannot see the match live, be sure you can buy the event on. It is being recorded on Lighthouses, so it will be televised. Oh, I have a bootleg stream on my tower. <laughs> team, by the way. <laughs> Why are you undermining our profits? <laughs> it's only streaming to outside of this floor, bro. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and, oh yeah, and and and, yeah. and gamble. Don't forget to gamble. gamble Place your money gamble. on anyone. I would say that the great, the great Gasu, who I will now deem him as the great Gasu, has shown his worth. But will he be any match for the incumbent champion, the great Tempest, Coon Victor? Wait, I'm the Tempest. I thought Leaf was the. I mean, Fluxfolk was the. Well, that Fluxfolk is the scion of the Tempest, and oh. you're the Tempest. I'm so bad at this. Got you. Okay. I don't. That's that why makes, I'm you doing. Know what, the that actually doesn't make sense. I just. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh shit! It made sense. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm we have to see Final Fantasy 14 references. <laughs> <laughs> we are hoping to see you at five o'clock, or is it six? It's six. Remind me again. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. <laughs> it's now five thirty. So you know. <laughs> All right. We will now take your oh, questions. Man. So at this point, a ton of people start walking up to Coon Victor, uh, and especially a bunch of young ladies. Now, uh, ladies, don't get too close. You, uh, you, you even, you even recognize uh, one of them is Claudia from the potion shop. I didn't know you were so famous. Like you were just hearing all this conversation going on, and you hear a couple sneezes. And she uh, sneezes on him. Please tell me she sneezes on him. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You, you get that impression, Mr. yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Coon Victor, he, he needs to keep his strength up for the next match, so I advise you not to get too close. Of course, for security measures. Of course, he could handle himself in a battle, though, so... I don't know how much <laughs> security is really needed. At this point, I'm going to say this is all continuing to happen. Uh, Leaf has recovered herself. She stood up, and she sort of walks over... You can tell she kind of doesn't realize where she needs to go. She's kind of looking around, and people start approaching her and asking her some questions. Uh, but she kind of just excuses herself and uh, walks towards the uh, entrance of the building. And, uh, woo, you see her coming towards you. I just pat her on the head. Yeah, good job. Really? Why do you say it like that? Of course. I'll never lie to you. As a matter of fact, if he didn't heal when he did, you probably would have beaten him. You think so? I well, just... we're gonna work. We're gonna work to uh, make sure that you can in the future. I just feel like I don't really know many techniques and stuff. Well, that's why we're gonna start training. Okay. You know, I'm once, just glad it's over. Look, once we leave this floor, me and you are training at least once a day. Once a, once Don't a day? Don't complain. No, that my sounds master awesome. Maybe, okay, I was going to say, my master maybe trained twice a day. I'm Did taking it easy a day? 
No, 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 no. Three no. times I a day, want... Mr. Wu. I don't have I don't have time to train that many times a day. <laughs> One uh, time a day would be fun. What I say? Not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you see a ton of people starting to go up to the counter and just start placing their bets, and they're you know talking and talking. And the general consensus that Eden, you're hearing, and Brack, you're hearing this. People are saying, you know, oh. Coon Victor's gonna wipe the floor with this guy. He had to, he even healed himself. And you know, it's all this conversation about this and that. But then there are some people who say, nah, she wasn't that strong. Who knows how strong Coon Victor's gonna be if that's his apprentice. So that's a minority, but you are hearing that as well. Okay. Can I go to place my bet and also float a rumor as well? Absolutely. You don't think that Coon Victor is that strong. Didn't you see how the so-called yellow flash struggled against a child? I don't know what this is about this thousand year thing, but look at her. No That's offense, Leaf. He brings up a decent point. She was just a little girl, even if she was over a thousand years old, like people were saying. And she almost won until he healed himself mid-battle. You're right! You know what? <laughs> He's a chump. Plus, Coon Victor, he's the scariest guy in these early floors. He's a coon. Trust me, you don't want to mess with a coon. <sighs> got that right. And uh, as you're saying that, you just see you know, so many people uh, near Coon Victor still uh, pestering him. And uh, at this point, Damien, you receive another text. I'm going to send it to you in private. Oh, oh my, uh, any more questions for the great Coon Victor? <laughs> Victor kind of looks back and uh, wonders. I know, I know what it was. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. At this time, Are we all placing behind. bets. So, yeah, do you want to place any bets, people? We all have to place bets. I'm placing the bet on a yellow flash. Yellow all flash? All my points. All, how many? Yeah. All my points, all I'm, placing, I'm placing all my bets on on Gasu as well. Okay. Exactly. Have, Could you please tell me the total? I have nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-four points. Okay, Brack. Seventy-eight eighty. Seventy-eight eighty. Anyone else placing any bets? I wish Place I could. But as the organizer, I am unable to bet on it. Thank you. David. And neither ah. is my champion, Kun Victor. But at the same time, though, I'm going to wire all of my points over to Eden. <laughs> so it's like, send wow. it to me! <laughs> that, Damn. Jeez. Damn. Okay. How many points do I get? <laughs> yeah. It would be five, nine, six, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mine is seventy-nine, seventy-eight. Am I betting Victor's money as well? Whoops. <laughs> oh, I thought Victor didn't need it. Victor is not Victor. giving you any money. Okay. <laughs> Rude. Victor's rich. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, like you didn't ask. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just saying, I, I'm he's just, he's very busy you. at the moment talking to yes. a lot of ladies. <laughs> a lot of yeah. He's yeah. talking to the ladies. Oh. Rude. <laughs> We're gonna need a talking to other ladies fee, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to Eden flirting with the three city guards. Uh, for the hey, I was doing it as a distraction. <laughs> Purely a distraction. <laughs> Seems like I was working. <laughs> the only one mentally scarred is Zhang from that encounter, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's 100%. True. Uh, okay, so what, what is the total then, Eden, from you? Uh, oh, hold on. Math. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Four. One. Zhang would also need to give up his points, too, so that. Zhang and Lee, both. And oh, yeah. Xiong. Um, We're Xiongfen. <laughs> oh, yeah, just have, have them all yeah, send I'll just, to you. Yeah, I, I, I'll send or have sent my points to Eden yeah. as well. I feel like everybody should just send it to Eden. Oh, God, Eden. I'm going to be like the big better. <laughs> yeah. just, like, she just like skips ahead and takes the test without you guys. With all these um, 100, 100K right here. <laughs> now let me take the test. <laughs> yep. Okay. Also, Joe, I'm going to need you to tell me the odds before the match starts. You want to talk to the guy and try to figure that out before? Is that what you yeah. Okay. Well, I bet already. I just want to know what they are, what the odds okay. are. When everybody bets. Oh wait, yeah. my uh, quick wait, my points and stuff heal, right? Like for the next fight. Uh, I was yeah. gonna give you a potion. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're, uh, I'm okay. gonna say you take a short rest, which means you would um roll three d ten, and you can spend that 
on HP, SP, or TP. Okay. But yeah, but not just giving a potion. You could also do so. That. Okay, so from Damien's money and my money combined, that's thirteen thousand nine hundred and forty-one points. Jeez. But I also okay. got literally everyone else's, so Shion I don't have to. Leaves Shion leaves John. Shion leaves leave Gasu. <laughs> well, so Gasu, did you send your points? Uh, yes. I yeah. Uh, my oh, total yeah, is yeah. seventy-eight ninety-eight. Or wait, Shion... I'm sorry, seven thousand eight. I said seventy. Yeah. Yeah, seventy-eight ninety-eight. Never mind. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is Shion giving the points? She's not involved in the. Ten. I guess that's fair. She can bet herself. Yeah, she's not like under. Leaf has to send. Leaf has to send points though. Yeah, anyone who was just fighting yeah. and anyone. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just me and and Leaf and that Leaf, would have yeah. to send points. Yeah. Right. Throughout, and throughout the whole in intermediate phase, oh, yeah. I'm trying to promote uh, Victor. Victor as the Victor. Okay. You're promoting Victor. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, let me try to find. Okay, so Leaf does. Um, yeah, Leaf does wire over 8,250 mm -hmm. points. Okay. But. Let me do some, yeah, some math. Never mind, actually. 98010. I'll write it down as well. So that would be. <laughs> my entire bet is going to be from. Hold on. So this is from Leaf. <laughs> this is Gasu. Yep. You're, yep. Me mm -hmm. and, and Damien. Right? Yeah. Anybody. What about. Okay, so Shion's on her own. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm placing a bet of 30,000. And 89 points on Ooh. Gasu. <laughs> at this point, the uh, the receptionist looks up at you. I'm sure you that's chump change compared to some people. You are confident. They're writing it down. What can I say? I like an underdog. And, you know, right as you leave, you see a rich benefactor. Damien, you recognize this person, say, 100,000 points on Kuhn Victor. And you just like, just instantly as you're, uh, you're gonna be like billionaires yes. after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on what the odds are. We need to know what the That's odds are. That's true. I... Okay. Uh, can I send, uh, while this is happening, can I send, uh, Mizaru over with a potion to Jong? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's the last one that I bought from Timmy and. So perfect, perfect. If I if he uses it outside of combat, he doesn't have to do the roll, right? He just takes it. Mm, you would do two d four plus four still. It'll, okay, well you yeah. roll that, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> no, suddenly you see Mizaru show up, and uh, he's got one hand over both of his eyes, and then handing you a potion. Oh, baby. Zong grabs the potion. Oh, thanks. And he, he's gonna he, back to you. What yeah. was it again for the roll? For the potion? D4 plus 4. 2D4. 2D4? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can uh, figure that out along with your short rest rolls. Yeah. Should be at full for everything after that, regardless. Just about. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, at this point, it's getting near mm -hmm. 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The audience is getting absolutely stoked. You're hearing, you're hearing the excitement ripple through the crowd. Victor finally breaks away from all the people talking to him. He walks over to you, Damien. Do you have any hand sanitizer? Uh, hang on. And I check, check. Oh, yeah. Here, here, here's my frog-scented hand sanitizer. Frog-scented? Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even think, though. He just starts immediately wiping. And he doesn't just wipe his hands. He wipes his arms. And he's just kind of, like, wiping his neck. Oh, he's about to he's about to be sick for the whole next floor, bro. <laughs> and he's gonna smell like crazy forever. <laughs> oh no. We kind of sent the saliva, the back, like <laughs> is it just like oh, yeah. general frog essence? <laughs> it's just frog essence, bro. I don't know. Whatever Harry Spelger smells like, I'm not sure what he smells oh. like. I'm sure yeah, he I smells mean, lovely. Smell like wait, wait, wait. Eden, Eden knows yeah, what he yeah. tastes like. I know what he tastes like. That's true. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's I do, true. I do. Was it, was it... <laughs> 
that's so Victor's like, Do you want to? I, I imagine you don't want to kiss me. And Ian's like, No, I've tasted your baseball before. It's not a big deal. This is Damien's whole like overarching goal was to like give everybody this hand sanitizer that slowly turns them into more hurry swellers. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I know this villain arc. The, the villain arc. <laughs> it's okay because now Victor has bathed with race Felger this episode so <laughs> i drank out of a cup he slept in <laughs> now you guys kind of have something in common yeah. you know uh, oh, that's like find so some common ground true and gross what do you mean race Felger is not gross <laughs> if 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 Eden and victor get married can race Felger officiate the wedding oh my God. <laughs> and then at oh, the wedding he's like you know i bathe with the with the groom over there <laughs> He'd have to go get his license. <laughs> right? I don't know. Stop. I don't know if that's on his the list of things to do. I thought he like, would what, really? He's like, don't worry. I've also been in the, the groom's mouth. It's it's a whole thing. <laughs> Becomes I... Minister Hrace Felger. <laughs> <laughs> Minister Hrace Felger. Let's go. We need that art. Hrace Felger in the, uh, in the tuxedo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, he need to be a little priest outfit with a little collar. Yeah. He's wearing a little robe. Um, oh, he is anything that's but true. a priest. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, he sounds like kidding? a priest to me, bro. Real tough. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, okay, okay, tiny book in hand too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Okay, okay. Whew. So at this point, Damien, you're checking the time. It's 6 p.m. The audience, it's at, they're actually so excited that they're all like hushing down and just waiting for your next, uh, for your next word. And at this point, Eden, um, Leaf does manage to, well, I'm going to say, okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to roll. Okay. Leaf finds you uh, instantly. Oh, rude. And she manages to kind of, she goes closer to you. Hi, Eden. And I like kind of look down at her. I was like, I'm sorry you have somebody else. You don't, I'm not who you think I am. Uh, uh, Eden, and she starts calling. Oh, I'm such an idiot. She starts walking away back towards <laughs> you, Wu. Um, Wu, was I not supposed to um talk to Eden? Just leave her alone. She's undercover. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. <sighs> Stupid. You're fine. Why did you want to ask her? Oh, I just wanted to say hi. Oh well, uh, I'm sure she'll feel bad about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so, I, may I roll perception again just to keep an eye out for with all the yeah. bedding and everything for the guards and to see for if sure. I recognize the bedding? Okay. Roll, uh, roll perception. Oh, that's really good. That's that's a that's a twenty three. Okay. So at this point, you actually you do see a couple of guards, but less than what you had seen prior. Not as many mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. And you also, you're looking around, and you have you also make a particular note that you haven't seen Shion in quite a while. Oh, no. That's not good. Just Do I see I, Rowan open anywhere? Or... No. No. Uh-oh. You do not. But it just kind of clicks roll. in your head, like, oh, yeah, wait, where's she on? Let me roll investigation. Actually, can I use my observer? I'm done yeah. with recording. I'll record the second half. <laughs> the live stream is it's a part one live stream <laughs> to part two. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, sounds like something we've done recently. All right, I was hoping no one would say it. Thanks but a lot. <laughs> it's a good plug to go watch both parts of the first episode of this arc to catch up. I guess up. so. Yes, go check out both parts. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. 16. All right. I want to check, like... Actually, I want to check like the perimeter of the arena because like if I'm not noticing her here, yeah, I want to check like around to see if she's if she's there. Well, okay, so I, I guess, well, okay, I'm trying to think here because the one technically the one who noticed she was missing was Eden. Like Eden, did you do you want to say you just you sent Wu a text maybe since you're both kind of undercover? Sure, sure. Okay, okay, just kind of want to make that make sense. So I'll, just, now that I'll you send have him a that, message. Just be like, have you seen Sean? I haven't seen her at all today. Got okay. you. Okay. So now you're looking around with your observer, and you notice Hoban, where he previously was, also not there. You do see a couple guards kind of scattered around, but not Hoban. You don't see Rowan. Um, no sign of Shion. You're looking around at the crowd, people wearing hoods. You don't see anyone that would resemble her. So I just, I'll just 
text back and say that I can't find her and Hoban was sitting a, a ways across from me and he's gone now too. Mm. Shoot. Um. Could we try reaching her in the pocket? Well, if she's captured, that won't be a good look. Um. Mm. Call. Okay. I'm gonna call, call Dexter or somebody and have them contact her. That's a lot of phone tag. Um, I'm actually going to pull up my pocket and call Timmy and shop. Sure, I'm gonna say at this point the the show is getting started, so you probably kind of have to walk away um, mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, and we'll we'll cut to that conversation here soon. But first, it is 6 p.m. And the crowd is watching with bated breath, Damien, as the show is getting started. It looks like my frog-themed watch says that it is time for the final round. I would like to thank you all for coming to our first event. It wasn't easy to organize all this. When I first came to this floor, I thought... We could really use some entertainment. And I hope that you're all entertained. Woo! Everyone just starts cheering and yelling and whooping. And you hear a bunch of girls, We love you, Coon Victor! And he just looks around and he winks at them. Your enthusiasm is contagious. <laughs> I am pleased to announce our challenger. The yellow flash himself. The great Gasu. Cheers the, the and claps, rock. but not as many uh, as when you started. I'm, I'm clapping also, just, you know. <laughs> yeah, every clap it. counts. <laughs> In the background, Brock is yes. like, boo, he cheated. Victor for Victor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Gasu, what do you, how do you respond like when he calls your name? He's just, his eyes are locked on Victor. He's not listening or thinking about anybody else. Okay. Well, Victor I, I hasn't locked eyes with you I, yet. He's looking around at the crowd. I was going to have a elaborate entrance for Victor, actually. Oh, he's not. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was oh, still okay. up. Oh, okay. Sure. The, okay, then it he's is. just. We'll say yeah, he has, he's not in the crowd then. That sounds fine. Okay. It is completely dark on that side of the arena. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. And I snap my fingers, and like spotlights, they all turn on one after another. Okay. And it is just a line going forward. And then I say, the great! And then a cannon goes off with rose petals. They're, it's like coming <laughs> off of the arena. It, they're just all in a line. Boom, 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 boom. Rose petals everywhere. The great Coon Victor! And then it's just like deafening, a deafening roar as the crowd just cheers and cheers and cheers. And How then you, I, and yeah, he, he he jumps off from like sure. I don't even know, like somewhere in the sky, <laughs> he just appears. He does a superhero landing, but he's he he's like crouching down. He's he's his back is turned to Gasu, and then he turns around and there's a rose in his mouth. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that detail, but he's <laughs> sure he turns around. Little Rosa Nante. And now he can celebrate. He can do whatever he wants. He can okay. go to the crowd. <laughs> he starts waving to the crowd. Now, I'm going to actually roll this one. He starts waving to the crowd, and he's, uh, you know, he's winking at the ladies, and uh, he's just waving, and... He pulls out his spear and does a couple stances. He's just eating it all up as everyone just starts roaring and cheering. And uh, just absolute excitement everywhere. And turn to leave. I'm just like, yeah. he's doing a little too much right now. That's Internally, what Damien wanted me to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Internally, we discussed that you don't listen to Damien. <laughs> Internally, I'm so happy Victor did everything to it. <laughs> it was marvelous. It was he did perfect. Follow along. You know, I'm gonna say he even had the rose and everything. He he went along with your plan. He played <laughs> to the crowd for more pomp. Sure, there he you go. Played yeah. the crowd absolutely perfectly. What a talented fellow. 
You know, like if this whole scam thing doesn't work out, like we could really like sell this. <laughs> <laughs> this this kind of hype, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, and then when when he's finally done with the applause and just being enamored by everything, he stops and he turns around and he locks eyes with you, Gasu, and he gives you this very serious expression, which then turns into a smirk. And he kind of just John. turns his head up takes his sword out and he pulls the sword out of the sheath and tosses the sheath to the side and then like sort of gets into this stance with his sword. Ooh, that's pretty hype. <laughs> Ooh, looks like our challenger is taking this 100% seriously. <laughs> no! He is ready for bloodshed, for carnage, but will the great Kuhn Victor roll over so easily? And then I point my mic towards the crowd, and what do they say? No! Coon Victor will win! It's just all kinds of things expressing their uh, encouragement for Victor. Can I find out the odds now? Yeah, well, sure, sure. You're talking to the guy, and he says, Well, looks like it's four to one. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take those. How much, what were the odds? Four to one. Four to one? Four to one? Uh oh. Good enough. That'll get us our our payout. Close to. Oh. As Victor that's at this happening. point, he has his spear leaned up against his shoulder, like in his art, and then he just whips it around. He starts like twirling it and doing all kinds of things, whipping it around before finally holding it in an attacking position. And then he this time he looks at you, Jong, and this time he winks at you. Gives you a little wink. Bro. John tightens his grip on his sword and just whispers to himself, I have waited six months for this. And then for the first time, you see Jean crack a smile at Victor. Ooh. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, shoot. All right. I jump Actually. back up to my seat <laughs> and I say, well, gentlemen, the floor is yours. Let's get ready to rumble. And then I, I, uh, I pull out a, uh, I don't actually know what to call it. I just, okay. and I get the frog, I get the frog gong again and I, and I pound it and <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we begin. All right. And actually roll 20. We're going to move to a new map here. Oh, oh, oh shit. We are on the oh, way. I see. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Look at this. Oh, okay. look at the boys. Oh, it's fight night, baby! Oh, All right. Area, and wood. instantly, without a, you know, as soon as that gong is hit, they fly at one another. All right. Jong, roll initiative. I'm ready to watch. Let's do room. this. <laughs> my whole life okay. saving is on you, my boy. You better not fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear you invested in my personal strife. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we got 16 for a niche. Uh, 16, uh, mm -hmm. okay. He beats you. Uh, I'm trying to find Oof. a good song, sorry, give me a sec. Sure, we'll go with this. You gotta remember okay. he got the god like rolls. So instantly as he dashes at you, you see like lightning, like almost like where he was as he bolts towards you, whipping at you with his spear, and he tries to thrust you three times. Thrust at you three times? Hmm. Oh boy. I have a 12 year old. Come on, give me child. some of that second floor luck, baby. Miss uh, all them chips. What's your ace? <laughs> oh, what's your AC, Gasu? Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I didn't. No, you're good. Uh, AC 12. All three attacks managed to hit you. As yeah, <laughs> saw that coming. <laughs> we about to be broke. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, the last, the last. The if if Victor sticks to the plan, he won't be too crazy. And he just like instantly just do, do, do. all three spear strikes are hitting you. Uh, and you can tell that he was holding back. Uh, I was about to say he's forgotten about the plan. He hits you, the first one, with full force, seven piercing damage. The second one, he holds back five piercing damage. With the last one, he kind of just taps you on the shoulder, dealing one piercing damage. So that's okay. um, seven so plus that's, five plus one, that's so 13. yeah, 13 piercing damage. Okay. God. Looks Damn. like our challenger wasn't expecting that one, folks. 
God, please win, Gasu. <laughs> 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 Well, the question is, was your microphone on? Did it pop up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this party in a nutshell. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's Big funny. Point. We jumping them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got it. No, uh, no, we just got to be ready to steal the pot and leave. <laughs> you work, you work, you work. Okay, um, all right, all right. Your turn. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, 20. Let's go. A nat 20? Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh we are here for attack. this. No more yeah, attack. Yeah, little flash, bro. Yeah, little flash. Trying to give this boy a little, uh, little school him a little bit. So, so what attack was it? Yeah, are you doing a normal attack? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, well, actually, can I add lights? I'm going to use light spark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And then do it normal. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. We'll sure. do that. Okay. We'll so, say, uh, two... right as you're attacking him, your blade lights up with electricity. Okay. So, that is. And then what is. So, you're going to roll for damage, and then that number you roll gets doubled before adding your modifier. And then you can add oh, the light okay. spark your bonus separately. We'll do that separately. Oh, okay. So, so. Good. Six, okay, 12, and then Parker is 1d6. That's one. Okay, so 13 then would well, be damage. Well, so, so do the light, tell me the light sparker separately. What, what is it without the light sparker? It's 12. Light sparker is only one. Okay, so it's 12. It's 12 plus Perfect. the light sparker, which is 13. Right, right, right. So, so you're whipping your blade through the air instantly. Right as he's attacking you, you do not hesitate to slash him. And he tries to duck, but you're way too quick. And you slash him, give him a good cut. The piercings he gave you also did hurt quite a bit, though. Now you notice as the electricity runs into Victor, it just stops. And it doesn't even move into his body. And he just smirks at you. I thought lightning would hurt me, friend. Or should I say brother? Oh. He, he whispers that part. He whispers, or should I say, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blood or should I say? <laughs> no! My favorite part about the party watching this fight is they're all just like, don't fucking blow it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just like says that out loud and he's mortified. He's like, oh. although I feel like that twist would have got the crowd going. No, that's true. Sure. No, but he whispers that part. He whispers it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. He's mean. Pretty funny. Okay. So he smirks at that. He whips his spear back, and he just, um, this time, he leaps into the air. Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, Are you proficient in dex saving throws? I am proficient in dex. All right. So you can add two plus your dex to this roll. So... 18. Okay. Oh. So he whips into the air. Flying fish style, air slash, and he whips his spear down. And you do manage to duck the main blow, but the force of the attack still does some damage. So it's you're gonna take half damage here. When he says that, can I amplify that his voice to the crowd? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so you take nine piercing damage from the attack, despite Ooh. making the saving throw. Look at that, folks. It's his patented, iconic, flying fish style. Flying fish style! Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man that took a patented move and made it his own. <laughs> <laughs> mm, <that's good. laughs> I just, you know, know it so well. Jihad's lawyers are about to roll up. <laughs> uh, okay, your turn. Gasu. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna. Oh, oops, slipped off the page here. Mm, yeah, I really don't want to. Oh, damn, bro, this fight is making me realize how little health I have. <laughs> uh -oh. That is gonna be one of the big uh, level ups after this floor. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go for. No, you know what? We're not gonna risk it. We're not gonna risk it. I'm going to use life breath again. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
How much SP are you spending? Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, six. Six, so, so you're healing for 12. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you all see that same sight as the breath just covers, the, the breath Shinsu covers his entire body, and instantly the crowd just start, not again! And they just start booing you and booing you. Rack, do you, uh, Rack, sorry, do you, uh, do you join in on this? Brack, Brack boos with them, but at the same time, internally, Brack is like, that's right, that's right, Gasu, heal, 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 heal. <laughs> Internally, Brock can see that Gosu's on his last legs, and he's like, I've seen that look before. I've experienced it many times. Heal. That was a terrible time to take a drink of water. All I would right. say, why would you do this? Yeah, oh my god. That was my bad. That was my bad. Uh, okay, perfect. Victor just smiles, though. He doesn't look, uh, he doesn't respond to that in any particular way. And he runs in, trying to attack you three more times. <laughs> but right, this time, another... you're able to completely block the first two spear strikes. Ooh. The last one does manage to, to land you in the shoulder, dealing uh, six piercing damage. Ooh. Gotta finish him here, bro. Okay. All right, yeah, let's see. Let's... Alright, um... I say it's like, I need to win this fight. He's like, there's too much riding on this. I'm like, I'm like why. weighing my options of like, yeah. devastating moves here, and like, right. what is... <laughs> what is considered yep. too... Too, uh, too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing's too much. Go <laughs> all in. Nothing's too much. You could just kiss him and make the boo-boo go away. It's okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Dude, look. Brass skewered him not too long ago, and he's fine. Just, just... <laughs> kill him. By the way, this Kill. is your last turn of Light Sparker. Correct. Right, right. All right. I'm going to do... Oh, how much is that? Oh, hold on. I got to check the cost for this. All right. I'm going to use Cross Slash. Cross Slash. All right. Yeah, yeah, so, he has to make a dex save. Correct. He does make the saving throw. Ooh, okay. So, so then it's, you it's going to be one... Yeah? It's 1d6 plus strength, and but then he'll take half of that damage so because he got actually, the... Actually, this attack, it says, in no damage on a successful save... If the target dodges, you can restore half the TP used by the technique. So, you, whatever TP you were going to use, you can restore half of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's some. Not all the saving throw techniques are the same. This one was like a. It's like an all or nothing one. Oh, oh so I'm gonna. I still have to spend half the TP that I would have yes. used in order. Okay, okay. Yep. I get what you're saying. Yeah, you can just check that on your own. So. You, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see right. Gasu whip through the air, doing the cross slash technique, but Victor just completely dodges it. And he says, I've seen, he whispers this one too. Yeah, this whole time he's just trying to you know, whisper to you. I've seen you use that too many times, man. If you don't body this arrogant. <laughs> that move was devastating, folks, but Kuhn Victor just manages to get out of the way. At this point, Victor jumps back a little bit and you see him start to channel electricity in his hands. And it starts to grow and grow and he shoots it at you. Make a, save, a dexterity save. <laughs> 19. Okay. So, we're gonna still roll. As the, as the blast, you're able to roll out of the way. You do feel some of the force, but... Hold on, we got two, we got... Oh my jeez, okay, Victor. Uh so <laughs> you only take half damage, but then also you notice as the electricity hits you, you feel like it you barely even felt it. Take one point of lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you son of a bitch. 
<laughs> you said, gosh, but that thought it hit hard or something. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. This is disrespectful. Man. A devastating <laughs> attack, and it looks like Gasu took a lot of damage from that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright, Jong, All right. your turn. Alright, I'm going to... I'm gonna use... Your light sparker has now run out, by the way. Yes, yes, I have that. Cool. Um, I'm gonna use blade style somersault. Okay. Perfect. So you're gonna charge at him here. I'll move you on the field here. And you, you whip through yeah. the air with your blade. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Attack roll. Ooh. A lot of pressure here. Oh, 18. That hits. That hits. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that damage. Love to see it. Okay. And then we'll <laughs> like, 2d6. We need I'm to see I'm thanking all the gods of the power. <laughs> no. Please just body you. Oh, okay. All right. I'm liking this. This is... We're stacking up here, folks. Okay, oh. Okay. Oh. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, oh, no. These dice are being so nice to me right now, bro. Hmm. Okay. I love to hear it. Okay, we got two sixes from the D6. Woo! So that's 12 plus strength, which is plus three. So. Two sixes? 15. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm just kidding. Damn uh, the dice, bro! No, I know. <laughs> Leaf actually rolled two sixes against you. I'm just messing. So, instantly you just dash towards Victor and you whip through the air with your blade and he tries to block it, but you're able to change the trajectory just in time to just completely slash him. Blood flies out into the arena, not into the, you know, onto the arena, onto the grass. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. ah! uh, drenches the crowd. No. Um, and he screams. Ah! He just grunts in pain as he clutches his, uh, you know, his uh, stomach, his body where you slashed him. You kind of give him a good, you know, sideways slash across his body. Ah. A devastating <laughs> blow against our champion, folks. Uh. But he's still standing. <laughs> And the crowd starts cheering, and you can tell people are getting scared at this point. Victor! Come on! Woodley Brack is like, Victor, no! And Woodley is like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then Jean, after the attack, Jean takes his sword and sort of flings it so that the blood white, yeah. like flies off of the blade. And he Ooh. just looks at Victor, and he says, you better fight like your life depends on it, Coon. Come on, man. <laughs> don't make him, don't make him break back there, man. Come on. Man. You don't see me. him like you don't see his face. He's looking down, but you feel just this like electricity start to spark off of him. And he slowly stands up and he grabs his spear. And you just see his whole body, suddenly electricity just starts rippling all around him. Kun style. Shinsu technique. When he jumps into the air and pulls back his spear, sets bolt! And he chucks the spear down and it just explodes. Wait, what, you. what did you say? This man sets forgot bolt. about. Wait, what was the name? Set. Set? Yep. Okay. You're doing too much, bro. This is not part of the, the arrangement. This man pulling out daddy's techniques, man. Yeah, right? he hasn't he hadn't even used this boat. Like what is he doing right now? Okay. And you're you've never seen him use this. I mean none of you have seen him use this technique. Yeah, he's never used this before. He's out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and Can't just see, make one L for the team. <laughs> and this, so okay, I need you to make a deck save. Uh deck save okay. Come on, dice baby. Please love me today. Eighteen. Okay. He throws the spear, and you you manage to dodge for the most part, but the explosion is huge. As as soon as that spear hits the ground, it just detonates, and you know the smoke fills the air. The crowd is trying to see what's happening, and you do manage to dodge the spear itself, 
And the blast that you receive is electric damage, so it only does um, three. Okay. So I'm trying to illuminate the field with my lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me mark this down. Fail and success. Okay. okay. And the crowd, they, they're watching what happens and some of the people say, oh, th the fight's gotta be over, right? But when the smoke settles, Damien's lighthouse shining onto the field, you see that the attack barely even scratched Gasu. He's still standing, folks. This fight uh, is not over yet. Uh. You can tell the, the crowd is just completely absorbed into this fight. Completely. Eden, what are you doing during all this? You just watching? So she's watching, but I had the, the call to Timians, but we'll put that on hold for now. Oh, um I sorry, I completely It's okay. This is totally worth. <laughs> okay. Um okay. basically she was just gonna call and like ask right. for healing potions just to see oh, if he okay. was in the shop. Because she's you. suspicious that Hoban is going they're they're going to go kill him now. That's what she's oh, okay. I'm gonna say you had that whole conversation. You're, you're talking to him about Hoban and everything. He tells you yeah. he can't provide you with any more healing potions uh, and not to worry about his own safety. Okay, and then... Uh, did you ask him about Shion? Yeah, I, I did had, I did mention if, if Shion had... The girl with the short black hair had shown up to his shop. He says he hasn't seen her since she was in the prison cell that he put her in. Okay, and then... Um, uh, Last little thing I'm gonna do while all this craziness is going on is uh, she's just gonna send a message to Shion and just say like, hey, we were supposed to meet for dinner. Okay. Everything okay. Okay. Got it. At this point, Jong, it's now your turn. It is, all right. That was... All right, we're gonna do another, another somersault. I'm okay. gonna just keep dropping on this fool until he goes down. Go for it. Make that attack oh, roll. Man, come on. Sixteen. That hits. <laughs> this okay, could okay. be it, folks. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, four. Three, seven, so ten. Ten. Ten damage. How are you doing this exactly? Like with the, the technique itself? You're just doing the same thing as before? Pretty much? Uh, yeah, yeah. You want to just describe it really quick? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he jumps up in the air, you know, again, very similar technique, does a couple of somersaults, and like just as he grips his sword, trying to come down and on top of Victor with as much force as possible drops onto him, swinging the sword and coming straight down and slashing Victor. You see Victor try to reach up and block the attack, but you manage to slice right into his body. He holds back a scream and the crowd just starts screaming and there's everyone screams, but then holds their breath. It's completely quiet. He's standing there. Not bad. And he looks up at you, but I let you win. And then he falls to the ground, blood trickling I, down his body. I, I don't believe it. Kuhn Victor went down. The winner is our mysterious challenger, the, the great Gasu. Woo! And like a quarter of the audience is just like kicking and screaming, jumping into the air. And there's people clapping, but most everyone's just got this shocked expression on their face as they're watching what just happened. Brack says very loudly and proudly in the back of the crowd. Thank you for the money, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> I immediately like tap and I'm like, we're, we're, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can I? Can... Oh. This was unprecedented. Can Gasu approach Victor? Yeah. Okay, so he walks over, and you can see that his hand is shaking, and he grabs Victor's the like top of his collar. 
Don't you dare give me this win. Get up, now. The fight is over, Gasu. Uh, <laughs> that is enough. I you said are get our up, Victor. You are our champion, and you have gained the prize of going up to the next floor. And the crowd starts whispering, Hey, you win, man. You win. You won fair and square. Blood's trickling and down his You can his see mouth. his face just gets angrier and angrier as he's looking at Victor. I said, get up and fight me! And he punches Victor right in the face. <laughs> That's he, enough, Challenger Gasu! At this Shut point, up, Damien! I jumped down. At this point, Yan, uh, yeah, what is he doing? Yeah, everyone's just starts like, what's, what's going on? And there's just, start, everyone starts kind of panicking. Can I roll? Control, control yourself, Gasu. Can I roll? Against yeah, this? we, we want to roll four. I want to blind his ass, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no. We, we, we... Yeah, that that summons. Okay. I have his fetch and the XP, so it should just go off, right? Yep. Suddenly, he has to do, a, Mizaru... has to do a wisdom saving throw. Though. Yes. So Mizaru shows up and Gasu, so you're so absorbed in everything that's happening, but then suddenly you see Mizaru. Start to slowly touch your eyes. Make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. A monkey? The crowd just starts scanning. Everyone's just like... Uh, 13. Nope. All right. <laughs> you were waiting to say that one. <laughs> 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 so suddenly, it just the instant you see the hand start to touch your eyes, they remove themselves and you just pure darkness. You can't see anything. And he Brack. throws Victor, like, drops him to the ground to cover his eyes. I just yell to Brack, grab him. I, I'm, 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 I'll grab Victor. Oh, you're there? Oh, is you yeah. there? Okay, grab him. Yeah, I'll drag okay. him. I'm, I'm, I'm already, already at the betting booth. <laughs> I keep having an aneurysm taking a party. <laughs> In this whole scenario, Brack's just I said, I like, collect. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait, so Eden, so I'm going to say you had your phone call with Timmy. Now, you're, yeah. how was your reaction? So she's watching the whole thing happening, figuring that some tempers would flare because that's how they go. Um, but I'm, I, may I make another perception check to see if more of the guards have left or if some have come back or if it. there's a presence outside. For sure. Because I'm near the entrance. Yeah. Ooh, that's another good one. Uh, 17. You notice that the guards... A lot of them have left at this point. You still don't see mm -hmm. Rowan. You still don't see Hoban or anyone that you would recognize immediately. But you do see, um, you do see one person start to run up to you. Hey, do I? Yeah. And you do recognize this person. It is a one of the the regular that spoke to you while you were looking for Ernest. You and she. Oh, go. Right. I don't think he introduced himself to you, but that yes. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Oh, I could be you're right. I could be right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You probably did. Uh, hey. Yeah. What, what's up? Your friend. Come on. Your friend is in danger. Uh, okay, and I I take off with him. Okay. He leads you outside, back into the night, and he starts like he's like this this way. Come on, and he starts running down the street. As as we're running, can I like insight check what he's saying to see if he's being truthful? Uh, yes, but do so with disadvantage. Okay. Because of all the, everything that's happening. It's hard to tell. Uh, that would be a five. <laughs> yeah, you have no clue. <laughs> no clue, no clue. no clue, okay. Yep. Uh, we're going to cut back to that in one minute. First, at this point, Victor has been retrieved. Jong, you are blind at this point. And now Damien Yan is like, you get, get a hold of the situation. What's going on? It's okay. It's all handled. I, uh, Jong, how I do you leave, I leave. Sorry, Damien, go ahead. Oh, I, I like I, I leave the crowd to his team, to Yang's team, and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take Damien and give him like Victor, my right. potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or okay. yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah, my I'm gonna give Victor okay. my potions. Okay, uh, sure, sure. Now, Jong, Jong, what's... Uh, sorry, yeah. I'll just appear behind Jong. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Put my hand on his shoulder. John. He grabs Wu's hand and quickly throws it off of him. Get off me! You better do a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead and do a little strength. Fair enough. 
He's right. He's I love right. how smooth that was. Yeah. Like, better do a strength check. <laughs> 100%. Oh, you, there's no way you beat this. That's 19. Oh. oh, you might be the whole way. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no, no, it's a tie. We got to roll it again. Oh, shit. Okay. So okay. Both of you are just like grabbing your heads, like trying to keep it there. Aren't you, you really want it there? And I really aren't you disadvantaged? Not, I wouldn't say for, for this. whatever. I rolled again. What you got? What you got? Because this is this, you can't be 17. I got a dirty 20. Oh, shit. yeah, it's just strong boys. attack rolls. I wouldn't count this as an attack roll, it's just um, something got you, so, got yeah. you. Okay, so you try to take his hand off, but it is like solid as stone. Oh, get R off of me, relax. It's done. It's not. It's not done. It's not yet. done. We're leaving. And if you want to see again anytime soon, I suggest you breathe and come with me. <gasps> he reluctantly, slowly stands up and, well, I guess not really follows Wu because he can't see. But <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> No, I give him. I I I, I dispel these over his finger. Okay, okay. Perfect. Now that he's calmed down, you can see again. It's kind of blinding at first, but you can see something's going on. I don't know what that was, and I'm not going to ask you. But we got to leave now. Whatever. At this time, don't... yeah. I was just gonna say he he walks over to his sheath and picks it up and sheathes his sword and then begins to leave with Wu. Okay, Eden, you are running through the street following Goat and he leads you this way and he 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 leads you into a he's opening a door to a building. I, I think they're torturing her. I, I was hearing screams and stuff. And Eden kind of stops. You go first. Sure. And he runs into the building. Okay. <laughs> She's just like okay. Um. <laughs> So she she's she's activated her bow by now, so she's yep. she's ready to roll. He leads you into the building, and as soon as you enter, the door slams shut. Shit. <laughs> and you're hearing fighting inside, and you hear Shion's voice, Eden, and then suddenly someone like grabs you and tries to uh, contain you. All right, I and probably would have been aware end at this today's point. session. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn, I'm Nate! Sorry. Why we am have I more time left? I knew, I knew it. I knew it was happening. Why am I cliffhanger bait? What is up with this? Up. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. It is always you. It is always you. It's me every time. It is, yeah, it is eating a lot for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so Damn. mad. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, oh, hail! Oh, Here we I'm are. Good. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hi. thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode. There was a lot that went down there. That was really fun. Uh, we all, you know, uh, Brack placed some bets. He went to the betting booth. <laughs> John went a little crazy. Uh, Victor's <laughs> unconscious. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But uh, yeah, all the days work. All the days work, exactly, <laughs> exactly. If you did enjoy the episode, we would really appreciate it if you showed that support by leaving a like. Uh, we have a ton of fun doing this series. So if you're also having fun, you know, uh, join the Discord, talk about it. Uh, talk about your favorite moments or share some memes and fan art. I feel like there was so much meme quality this episode, it was <laughs> insane. Uh, so we look forward to seeing those. We'll share them, all of them, in next week's uh, break time uh, video. About to be a lot of rich Damien, bro. I can feel it. No. <laughs> like, it was a big hit. Stonks. <laughs> It's going to be beautiful. Uh, Unless yeah. it's not. Unless it all comes crashing down. <laughs> My machinations. Yeah. They're crumbling before me. <laughs> Still not um, over the street rat line, bro. Dude, that, is so that <laughs> killed me. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, Damien so is wild. I guess the crabs one was funny too with uh, Damien. Oh, yeah. The, the memes were yeah. phenomenal. Um, also, I did want to really quickly give a shout out to Anime Problem, who super chatted. Uh, One Piece Crazy being good. Brandon Sanderson, Kickstarter, I think 27 mil. And now to cap it off, Towers and Gods. This was a good week. Hey, shout out, Anime Problem. Aww. 
happy to uh, make help make your week. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Much appreciated. Also, the, per the person in chat who, when we were talking about how I stole a technique, wrote Tower of Lawsuit, you had me cracking up in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw something about Jahad's lawyers. I was like, damn. You, you I don't, don't know. know. that legal team, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure who it was, but that you got me. You got me really good, but I didn't show it. But shout out to you. <laughs> shout out, shout out. This was a blast. Thank you all so much. Uh, we'll see you next yeah, Friday thank you. Uh, for the next episode. There's some exciting stuff coming up. Uh, we have plans. We're not going to share too much now. But uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Have a wonderful night. Thank you all yeah. very much. Yes. Who's, who's going to not die, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>